What's good at 10 pretty people? Friday night, my name is Kari, this is my crib, and I invite you into my home for another evening of the dopest live stream that's something like a podcast, something like a newscast, and sometimes like a showcase. We're going to have a good time tonight. I'm joined this evening by my homeboy, Bijo. I'm joined by the beautiful Tati. We're going to have some good conversations. We're going to have some good talks and get into some, some news, some entertainment, things that's been going on around the world. It's been a... Uh, it's been a little crazy week with some of the things that's been happening and things like that, you know? It's been a good week for me. It's been a pretty good week for me. And I say that because uh, I got rid of child support. Child support is no longer in my life. I'm, I'm, I'm thankful for that. I'm grateful for that. You know, they uh, they have put down some nonsense. It, it's it's The case went back to 2014. It was... Uh, felonious with the information that was provided to the child support people so it made me look like I didn't take care of my kids at all but in fact I've taken care of my children from the day they was born and now I currently have 50% custody we split it up and I finally got that shit out of my life because the divorce said yo y'all doing 50 50 no child support for neither one of y'all take care of your own damn home and that's what we've been doing and then she tried to file child support and they actually, it, it, it wasn't, it wasn't necessarily her fault other than her filing, but the child support people were lazy, you know? So even though I got divorced a couple of years ago when shit was in there, the child support people said, yo, we're just going to pull out this old fucking child support shit from 2014 and just go ahead and put that back in effect. So I had to send them paperwork and all types of shit. But I got that out of here. You know what I'm saying? I'm a good father. I take care of my kids and shit like that. So I don't think somebody that has 50% custody of the kids and take care of their shit should they ever be on child support. That's just my personal uh, thoughts. You know, but what you think? What you think? Any, either, either of y'all have a thought on a that? Makes a whole lot of sense. You got 50% custody. I mean, yeah. that's half and half right there. Mm-hmm. I think so too. Mm-hmm. 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 He just ain't coming over for weeks for nothing, right? <laughs> <laughs> so, so what do y'all? I'm, I'm smoking on <coughs> something good that got me choking up a motherfucking storm. You know what y'all? What y'all smoking on? Or sipping on over there? What you sipping on over there tonight, bees? Oh, tonight I'm sipping on the the drink of the night. The drink of the night, a Henny Colada. Okay, Henny Colada. We are going to be getting into the um to the Henny Coladas later this evening. You know, we're gonna uh Bees is actually going to give us some instructions on how to make the Henny Colada. So so far tonight, myself, I'm um sipping on the Henny. You know, I am sipping on some Henny. I'm on shot number two. I just finished shot number two, so actually I'm on shot number three. You know, and you know what? You no, know let me write this on my board. I'm gonna write this on my board. Tuesday, we're gonna do the recount of the shots from last week because we had a bet. Tati and I had a bet on how many shots I had, but neither one of us actually went back and looked at the video and actually counted how many shots we was at when at at that point. But I think I was correct. What you think, Tati? You think you was correct? I think you gonna owe me, but we already know that. Yeah, yeah. Hey, Cheryl. What's up to all my house guests in the chat, by the way? What's going on, Cheryl? How you doing? I'm glad you joined us this evening. I'm glad you're in the chat. You know, we're going to have a good time tonight and things like that, you know? Um, but yeah, it's been a uh, cool week. I'm glad the weekend is here. You know, it's Friday. Um, and ooh, ooh, ooh. Hey, guys. <laughs> What you got over there, B? You got this bag over there with some with some stuff in it. What's that? I call this I call this the landlord. <laughs> you call that the what? The landlord. <laughs> <laughs> the landlord. <laughs> I got some uh, bachelor actually, card. In I think I think you uh told me that story, and I think I understand why it's called the landlord. You know, I think uh, I understand. I got some bachelor party and I got some um But yeah, tonight we sipping on sipping on some of the henny, you know? 
Got this Henny over here. Sipping on some Henny, sipping on some Critical Kush. I'm about to take my third shot. I probably should not be doing this so soon, right? It's 914. We've only been, I've, I've been taking shots since about, what, 850? Yeah, slow down. <laughs> slow I've been down. taking shots since 850. This is shot number three. It's 915 right now. So that's what, 25 minutes, three shots? That's not bad, right? You're like Roy Rogers. What's that? Slow down. <laughs> slow down all the way down all right i'm gonna slow it down i'm gonna slow it down i mix me a little green tea shot over here yeah what you got it? what's, a, what's a green tea shot you've, you've told me about those before i tried one and i'm still not sure why they call it a green tea shot so it's called a green tea shot just because it's kind of sweet like it kind of tastes like green tea just a little but really it's just kind of like juice so it has jameson mm -hmm. um Peach snobs. It ain't juice. Peach it ain't juice. Okay. It's straight liquor. <laughs> yeah. Um, sour mix and Sprite or lemonade. Okay. I like them. That's what I get. That's my drink of choice when I'm out and about. Do they have that everywhere? Oh. Have, you, have you ever been someplace that they don't have it? No. I, pretty much every place has uh, Jameson. Um, okay. I've been to places where Do they you? don't have Hennessy, like they don't have what they cognacs. Give you what they give you. Oh, they don't. But they don't have, have whiskeys. Yeah, so I they normally always have it. Shot number three, by the way. Say it again. You have to direct the bartender. No, they already know how to do it. Okay. Yeah, prayer. Oh. It's a common drink. It's really good. Mm. We're in Florida. In Florida. I made yeah. My, yeah, in Florida. In Florida. <laughs> in Florida. Oh, if you haven't yeah, I, noticed. And if you haven't noticed, um, Tati's wearing a crown hoodie over there. You know, if you want to support the stream, you can go ahead and hit carvishcrib.com, uh, hit up the shop and buy some, some merchandise to support the stream. You know what I'm saying? We got the crown hats, got the crown hoodie. You know what I'm saying? So just, uh, yeah, I need some What's up? you know what I'm saying? I can just hit the, the, the Carvish Crib website and things like that. Um, hit that like button, by the way. You know, um, if you haven't already hit that like button, hit that like, hit that share, hit that subscribe. It definitely helps us out. You know what I'm saying? Well, I need to yes. def I need to definitely stop. You know what I'm saying? Because I know y'all know what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Let me stop. Let me stop before that shit gets stuck in my head. I'd be saying that forever. Yo, you, you you watch TV? You watch TV, bees? Yeah, I watch TV. You watch? You ever seen For Life? <laughs> For Life, TV. yeah, I've, I've caught a couple. So, oh, you, you've caught a couple episodes, but you haven't seen all the episodes, no. huh? I haven't seen all the episodes. Okay, they just had the season like, finale uh, the other night, by the way. See, like the second season, the second season was kind of choppy for me. The first season, okay, but the second God, the season, second was season wasn't bad. The second season wasn't bad, tell you the truth, man. It wasn't a bad season. I just watched the season what, finale what I mean? uh, today, actually. It actually came together pretty well. It came together pretty well. In my opinion. You off, but what I mean by choppy is like, okay, I seen episode one of season two, mm -hmm. and then I see episode four. Oh, oh you've you been choppy. Around. Right? You've yeah. been choppy. Oh, yeah, that's okay. different. Why are you watching it like that? Yeah. <laughs> no, it's not that. You forget. Sometimes I forget. It's not a show that's, that was like on my mind, like, oh, Got this you. night, I got a, you got you got you know Hulu. I mean? You got Hulu. Yeah, I got Hulu. All right, well, you can just watch it on Hulu. I've been watching it on Hulu. I got caught up on Hulu and shit like that. So, but they had the season finale this week. It was pretty good. It's a pretty good show. You know, I like the uh, the approach they've taken with the show and things like that. Um, they actually brought COVID into the show. COVID is now. Uh, character on the show because they're doing things in the covid uh era like they're actually showing people on the show with the masks on you know they're having social distance hearings and things like that um they got they went into the george floyd stuff this year this season um the police brutality and stuff like that they kind of went into like a little bit of what's actually happening happening in the world i kind of like the approach but i kind of think um but you know what let me take that back. Let me take that back. Being that I'm in the South, a lot of people don't take COVID as seriously out here as they do up in places like New York. You know, so on the show, they take COVID pretty seriously on the show. But I think up in New York, people took COVID pretty seriously as well. Down here, 
people were very lax. Yeah. And down here being Tampa, being Florida, people were pretty lax with the COVID. They didn't really see it as, as crazy as it was. But And I think that's because Tampa didn't get hit. Or, or Florida in general didn't get hit as bad as New York did when it first started, when the COVID shit first came around. Like, I think Florida got hit. They got hit. Maybe not as big as hit. because they New York hit. has way more people than Florida. Right. I think. And I think that's the thing. And they're reason. on top of each other, but Florida right. definitely got hit big. It's just we went on quarantine and they just lifted it. Mm hmm. So. Yeah, we got hit, but we didn't get hit like New York. You know, like I pers I don't know anybody in Florida personally that I know myself that passed away from COVID. I know several people in New York that has passed away from COVID, you know? And that's like one of the big differences for me personally. Or why I think it was like just a little disparity, you know? I mean, I don't know. Like New York, there was places like my whole my whole uh, apartment complex here in Florida probably has a couple of hundred people, you know. In New in New York, there was whole communities like this that was on quarantine and lockdown. Nobody could come in and out because the the infection rate was so crazy at one point. And now that that happened like in, in New Rochelle, like and things like that at first, right? Yeah, yeah there was in like New whole Rochelle. communities that couldn't leave prior because to because that was New Rochelle. New Rochelle was like one of the 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 I guess you could say ground zeros. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. of the situation you know what i mean like the whoever the lawyer was and then he came in contact with so many people i'm assuming or he came in he came into contact with enough people that it was able to spread quick right due right. to the fact that, yeah. yeah they were spreading in florida but not on that level i don't think so i think that was one of the differences but i like how they kind of brought it into the season of uh, uh, For Life, because we totally got off track a little bit right there. But I like how they kind of brought that into the season, but didn't really mm -hmm. make it, like, the main focus, but they let it... They let it affect things slightly. Like, okay, we have to change this up because of COVID type of things, and hearings aren't like that, so we're going to approach things on the show like this. I thought it was pretty good. I thought it was pretty good. I thought the storyline was very, very well written, and the acting was, was great. You know, I, I I definitely think the main character, uh, the guy that plays Aaron on the show, uh, I believe he's from the UK. Yeah, there's a lot of uh UK actors playing American, uh, black men, and, and it's primarily black men. It's prim I I think, you know, I haven't really heard too many. Uh, yeah, so white there's, there's a couple of there's a there's a couple of Caucasian um euros out there. That do the yeah, American that, that, that do the American accent or do they keep their British accent? Yeah. Okay. I yeah. know I know the show back in the day's house. I know that dude has like a British accent, UK accent. Yeah. He played he played uh an American shit like that. That was interesting. But I liked the show. I thought it was good. I thought it was good. What about uh Snowfall? You fuck with Snowfall? Of course. I'm a wag dude, yeah. What's that? Snowfall's that, that shit. B, you said you whack. You don't fuck with Snowfall. Yo, I haven't. I haven't watched it. I can't even front. You right? haven't watched it, nigga. You was in the middle of the crack epidemic back in the motherfucking. <laughs> How you not watching your history? I'm joking. I'm joking. <laughs> but you, but uh, uh no, nah, it's a good show. It's kind of like it's kind of playing playing off of um, Rick Ross. Uh, story, not the rapper, but the, the real Rick Ross, Free Ray Rick Ross. Rick Ross. It's kind of playing off his story a little bit, you know. It's not, it's not mm -hmm. like a biography of his shit, you know. It's just like based off of it, probably, and just kind of mm -hmm. just taking their own lane for entertainment and shit like that. But season one, season four, episode one and two actually played this week, and they were both good. I thought there was a. Uh, a good little little combo of episodes like season episode one was about an hour episode two was about 30 something minutes you know which i thought was a little weird i guess it was just like one episode but they just kind of made it into two or something like that but i thought it was good i thought it was a good uh opening for the season to kind of really set up that there's about to be a gang war in la and shit like that and i'm uh i'm enjoying it <coughs> Tati over here enjoying this smoke. 
B's about to enjoy his smoke. <laughs> and I think. Okay, when should I take my next shot of um of Henrock? So you said you were gonna wait and do that what third shot? You said you were gonna wait and then you took it anyway. Yeah, I did take it anyway, kind of, sort of. <laughs> what? What the hell? It's 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 going now. It's going now. Just it's going. I mean, if you want to take another one, go ahead. I'm trying to think what time I, I should take that shot. I'm trying to think what time I should take it. Huh? <laughs> I try to think what time I should. Give it, give it. Are you trying to time your shots? Yeah, I'm trying. I'm trying to. I'm trying to. Um, moderation. I'm trying to do it in moderation. Mm, okay. You know, I'm trying to do it in moderation. What was that, bees? Oh, sweet tea. Some sweet tea, just just some regular sweet that's tea. That's how you look like. That's why you look like that. You hit a face <laughs> after you drink it. Wow. Where you got the sweet Listen. tea from? Turkey hip. Oh, I don't know what that is. What is gross? I think that's that's a nah, brand. That's nah, a brand. turkey. No. Oh, it's a brand. I've never heard of that. But turkey like they like the only ones that actually like make the tea, and it's like brewed tea. No, we don't have that down here. Mm-mm. We don't yeah. really. We really do. Turkey Hill, sweet tea. I love public sweet tea. That's my shit. They do got some good sweet tea. I'll give it up to them. I'll, I'll drink give it the up whole to gallon them. by myself. <laughs> Say what? I've had, public, I've had public sweet tea before. They, they got some decent stuff. It's, it's Cheryl, yeah. Cheryl said over here in the comments, she said, Tati, I think tonight is going to be one of those nights with Kari. I Most guess, definitely. I guess we're gonna take three shots uh, yes. before nine thirty. You already know. Damn, Cheryl. it's before nine thirty. He know ah. what he's doing. Don't, don't, don't let him think. Uh, ah. Make you think he don't know what he's doing. You oh, about to take another one and another one and be like, right, we gonna, we gonna go back to that. <laughs> I'm gonna go back to that video this weekend, and we gonna, we gonna run that back uh, next on Tuesday. We and definitely I'm, a, need to. I'm probably gonna put them all in the clip. I'm like, here goes shot one. Here go. Actually, shot one was taken off camera before the stream started. Shot two, the stream has started. You know, so okay. That's how far I watched. I watched up the shot two, and then some shit came up, and I had to go do something, which is fucking bad. Because you know I shouldn't what? Have the time you to to took like this. two or three shots off camera for that episode. Not I'll just tell one. You. You did. You took like maybe seven shots, bro. Dead ass. Like you took but like two not, or three shots not, before we even got on the show. But not at the point where we was discussing it. I wasn't at six or seven shots at that point. No, what I'm saying, what he's saying, you took seven shots in general. So you didn't take two or three on camera. You took like two off camera. You took the third one, the fourth one, and then the fifth one. And you were saying that you were on your fourth one. But you were really on like yeah. five or six. Check it. You took two <laughs> off camera, right? Right before we started, you took two. You was two in already. Mm -hmm. Then as soon as the show started, I'm gonna say five minutes in, you took another one. So you was already at three. <laughs> you was lit. And during the show, you took at least another three to four. So what are, are, are y'all trying to tell me I need to stop drinking? Nobody said that. Absolutely. We trying to tell you how many shots you had, no. and you were saying you had but less. You know, than son, what's that? You shouldn't stop drinking, cause yo, I never looked at you as a as a quitter. <laughs> oh, I'm definitely not a quitter. I'm definitely not a quitter, man. You know, <laughs> this is. Uh, I got the I got the Chiron down in the bottom. I'm not the Chiron. The uh, lower thirds. You know what I'm saying? Tell everybody, yo. Um, I probably shouldn't be even be saying, yo, I got this here at the bottom to show this, but this is live. I'm doing all of this live, you know? <laughs> I impress myself sometimes. Mm, 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 mm. <laughs> and Cheryl says, bees and Tati are right. <laughs> Period. Oh, man. Why you got to agree with them, Cheryl? Because huh? <laughs> Cheryl's on the, she's on the right side. She's on the right side. Where okay. we tell the truth. I, I, we just trying to hold I, you accountable. That's all. I, I, I hold myself accountable to things. You know? We talking about that specific moment. That Cheryl's specific like, Cheryl, moment. Cheryl's our number one fan. I don't care what nobody says. I love Cheryl. I love Cheryl too. You know? She checks in each and every week. Yeah. Shout out to Cheryl. Right. Shout out to Cheryl. 
She's mm-hmm. even donated to the stream as well. So, so I definitely appreciate show. Let's go sterile some air horns real quick. But you know what, yo? Let's just jump into like our, uh, one of our one of our main stories of the evening, yo. I know, I know, y'all heard this story this week. Lady Gaga, her dog Walker was shot, and two of her dogs were stolen. You know, um, earlier this morning was it? It was either early, even either this morning or yesterday. I actually saw video footage. Footage TMZ had released some video footage. Footage. Oh my god! I guess I had too many shots. I'm saying footage instead of footage. Video footage, and you can actually see dudes ro- roll up on the guy walking the dog. Mm-hmm. You know, jump out on him. Dude starts yelling. He's like, "Yo, help!" Da-da-da-da-da. They try to just take the dogs. Dude resists. They end up shooting dude and taking the dogs. You know, like they shot the dog walker to steal the dogs. You know, Lady Gaga's in Rome doing something. Her dog walker was in Cali, a Hollywood area, I believe. You know, and yeah, they stole the dogs. The 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 dog walker is alive. You know, he he has suffered a gunshot wound. It's, it it was a serious injury, but he is alive. He didn't die. Um, Lady Gaga immediately went out and put out a $500,000 reward for the safe return of her dogs. That's absolutely crazy. I agree Yo, with listen. you. I, I, okay. Dude. Now go ahead. Yo, dogs are, are like, yeah, I don't know what it is. Like why these dogs are so precious to like white over people. human life. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. I tell you what, um, I have a dog now. Should we get fucking with a dog? I got, I got a That's dog now. Crazy. If, if, um, if the in, if my dog gets injured and the injuries mm-hmm. are over a certain amount, mm-hmm. I'm sorry. You know what? <laughs> I don't, I don't think that. I don't think that dogs' lives should be over humans but i don't think human life should be over dogs either i think it should just be life like okay treat them you know we just because we're humans don't mean we gotta treat dogs bad but i mean the problem is that like certain people don't get that treatment but they give that respect to the dogs before they would give it to another human okay i would go in debt i would go in debt to save uh my child, my children's lives. But you know Medical. what? Some people will go in debt for their dogs because dogs are right. kind of like people's children. Like people yes, they have are. them in their house. I'm not they one have of those to treat them though. like babies. I'm not one so of those people. So they really, that's why they kind of view them similar to humans. I mean, my dog, okay, so I had a Yorkie for mm-hmm. like 10 years and we were like seven years in and her legs went out. Like, one day she was in the backyard, her legs just stopped working. And so we had to take her to the hospital and they told her like the little pet hospital and it was 24 hours, like a regular hospital, right? Anyway, <laughs> um, they said she had a slip disc in her back and like maybe she would walk again, maybe not, but they wanted like, I think it was like 5,000 for surgery. Mm. And my parents almost did it but like the um the chances of her walking again was like 30 percent so we just got her pain medication she got a little bag a little wheelchair and shit she was scooting around the house and i didn't want to put my dog some people put their dogs down yeah she was just like she had a wheelchair she said yeah she was and even if she wasn't in a wheelchair she just move and drag her little legs so i mean i wouldn't some people put their dogs down when they when stuff like that happened because they think they're in pain yeah i was sick just at the option you know being presented with the option of doing that so like i understand the pet thing because they are kind of like a part of your family i mean just treat people with that same respect so ooh, so your, your, your dog had a diaper huh 
She had a diaper. I had to change a dog's diaper for wow. about three See, to four that's years. That's love, yo. That's she had love, no control yo. over her, like, her bowels. So she would just pee or poop whenever. Mm, you love that uh, dog. Huh? Sometimes we had to squeeze her little belly to help her get it out. Oh, y'all yeah. really love that dog. Yeah, that was my baby. Oh, man. Yeah. No, she gave the dog a diaper. A diaper. Huh? Not a shit bag. Would, give a diaper. A shit bag? would they? I mean, a shit bag for what though? Like you know how you know how niggas get fucked up and they got put the shit in their stomach and all that. Niggas got oh, shit no, no, bag. No, 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 no. She didn't have none of those problems. Her her legs just wasn't working. Okay. So she was kind of paralyzed. So she didn't really feel when she had to use the bathroom. It was just happening. Just a shit bag. No, we just put a diaper on her. Cheryl over here says, Tati, I love you. you know, I love you. You take care of them dogs, you know? And yeah, then, definitely. And Cheryl said to me, and that's why you have pet insurance. Because mm -hmm. I was, I'm not spending 50000 to save a dog. Yeah. You know? But some people, like, imagine that happening. Some people put these dogs down, like kill them, because mm -hmm. they feel like they're in pain. But it's like, if, if your legs went out and you were paralyzed, Will we just put your ass down too? Cause you in pain, like you gonna suffer. Well, I still think People it's kind of fucked up. I I, I, I think yeah, it's kind of yeah. fucked up. We've just come to the. We're not even yeah, at the like, place. Yeah, like if your legs went out, you want me to kill you? I think it's messed up that we're at the place technology wise where we just still get stuck with a chair. You know. I mean, I'm people got. One of the points, like. <laughs> I'm gonna be. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get around somehow, some way. Right, know? exactly. I'm gonna be. Yeah, I'm gonna so be, hell no, I'm not putting my dog down. That was like my baby. I'm gonna be. Right, girl. You know the dude that ain't have no legs. He won the race. <laughs> <laughs> you seen those videos of the dude? He don't. He doesn't have like the bottom half of his body. It's just like his midsection and his arms, and he be walking around on this. And I think he a midget. No, he's not a midget. My bad, y'all. Little person. He doesn't little have- Little person. He's not he a- be dragging on the floor, you He's know? not a little person. He doesn't have legs. That's why he looks so small, my bad. He, cause it's just his top half. Uh, but he be scaring people in the grocery head. store. Did y'all, did y'all <laughs> see that stripper? Did y'all, did y'all see that stripper with uh nothing below the knees? Nah, mm -hmm. there was a stripper with with, but, with with just with like half legs. Check this out though, Kari on some dead ass shit. You don't remember Homeboy on the six train? I have no legs. <laughs> I have no legs. <laughs> <laughs> he used to, come <laughs> he's the, he's the re wheel himself in on like a uh with the kid. Yeah, yeah. On the skateboard, he had half his body. He just had his his torso went up. Yeah. Which is That's weird. crazy. This is weird, and 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 it wasn't like Eddie Murphy in Trading Places where he was faking. Yeah, he was dead <laughs> serious. He had, a stump. he had a stump, and the stump was on the um on the skateboard. He used to come through tapping the can. I have no legs. What the I hell? Yeah, yo, the yo. Well, that sounds scary. There's some characters. Yes, yeah, so that that would scare some people. Like little kids would probably be like, yo, <laughs> I ain't never on. seen no shit like this. That's wild. Yo, he, kids would probably be freaked the fuck out. Come the train. You can't, come through the train. You can't do that no more, though, right? Nah, nah, that's a ticket, bro. You can't walk through the trains no more? Nah, that's a ticket. Damn, how long have it been since I've taken a train in New York? Oh, no, wow. Wow. Well, but anyway, back to Lady Gaga and her dog walking out was shot, you know? Lady Gaga uh, actually offered up a half a million dollar reward for the safe return of her dogs. The police and the FBI was a little upset that she actually uh, offered this reward so fast, you know. But the thing that kind of stood out to me was her dog walker was shot. And she put a reward yes. out for the dogs. She put, said nothing about the dog walker himself. No, here goes a reward to find the motherfuckers that shot this dude. It's no, here's the money to find my damn dogs. Fuck that dude. I'm like, damn. You think so? <laughs> well, she probably didn't say fuck that dude, but no. she clearly does not care for the dog walker as much as she cares for the dogs. <laughs> I would have thought Listen, that. Listen, the $500,000 $500, reward was out before 
dude even got to the hospital. She you did say <laughs> something. Look, look, she did. What she said? What I was she curious because I'm like, I don't think she would. So she posted her dogs and she says in the caption how the dogs were taken in Hollywood. Mm -hmm. They just want the dogs back. I'll pay 50, 500,000. 5,500,000? No, no, no. 500,000 oh. for their safe return. Email to contact or contact us or whatever. Um, I continue to love you, Ryan Fisher. You risk your life to fight for our family. You're forever a hero. See, she said something. Are dogs really our family? Yes, we just said that. Like but, you take but, care of a dog from the, the dog you just got. Really? How old but, was the dog when you got it? My dog? dog just we, born, right? The dog we got here now? The dog we got here now, we got in December was probably about a couple of weeks old. Four or five old. weeks old, right? Yeah. And you take care of that dog, walk it every day, feed it every day, give it a bath, just like you would do your baby until the day that dog dies, well, I, right? I don't, I don't give it a bath. I don't give it a bath. You don't, but your daughter does, right? Yes. yes. So doing this every day, caring for an animal or a person like you would do for your kid, right? Yeah. You would feel like that's a member of your family. You think if something yeah. happened to that dog right now, she wouldn't be sad? Oh, yeah, I would be sad. So it's a member of your family. Yes. And Maybe no, not no. in the same relation as like you would your like a human, but it's still a part of the family is there every day. Yes. You play with it like, you know. Yeah. When my my brother's dog died, I felt it. Mm hmm. Did you? I felt it. He was. Yeah. He was part of the family like fam. My you know brother what? had that dog in co-op. I think I might have been traumatized. I yeah, think I might have been traumatized. That dog is a part of your family. I think I might have been traumatized as a child to where I love animals, but I don't really, um, like, I love animals, but I can also, when they die, I can also see it like, a, like an insect, you know? You know how you can squash a fly and not really care? And I think that's yeah. because, and I think that's because when I was a kid, we had, we had cats, you know, my, uh, we had cats growing up when I was young, real young. And I remember, um, one of our cats gave birth and they had a litter of cats. Right. And then I, I didn't put the cat on the bed. My family blamed me for putting the cat on the bed because I was the youngest person in the house. But y'all told me not to touch the cats, not to touch the baby cats because the mama would be mad. So I didn't touch the cats. Well, the cat was on the bed. For some reason, one of the kittens died, you know? And my dad oh. just, oh, the cat's dead, threw it in the dumpster. <laughs> you know? And it was like, oh, it was just like trash. I didn't, you know, it's like, when when like an animal died, it wasn't like no big like ceremony. Like oh, the animal died, or this and that. Oh, we're sad. It was just like up, oh, animal's dead. That went down the incinerator. That went in the dumpster. There was no Cosby Show funeral at the toilet, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was just like flushing down the toilet. It was like up, oh, that motherfucker dead. Less one one less mouth to feed. Boop, <laughs> you know. <laughs> That's how, and I think that might have trickled up. To, to pretty much, much me as an adult where I was like, <laughs> I love animals. I'll, I'll take care of animals. I don't want to see harm to an animal, but also oh, time to put it in the dumpster. <laughs> nah, that's crazy. I definitely think pets are a part of the family. But also, but also I but never really... 500,000? That's too much. That's, yeah, that's... she offered 500,000. At this point, they watched the dog walker, stole the dog because they knew your ass was going to put a reward out mm -hmm. and you just went overboard. And they didn't think 500,000 though. So now you put out this big ass reward. What the hell you think about to happen? People I'm about to go about, crazy over this I'm thinking this about dog. stealing Lady Gaga dogs. So, you think they knew it was Lady Gaga's dogs? What's that? You think they knew it was Lady Gaga's dogs? Or you think oh, they yeah, just going sure. Yeah, to steal some dogs and shoot somebody? They shot them? Yeah, to shoot them? I think yeah, they... to shoot somebody yeah, and steal dog some dogs? But there was some expensive was dogs, though, right? If I'm walking some dogs, I don't know. But if I'm walking some dogs, 
and somebody wants to take them, I would be confused as to why you would want to steal these dogs right now. But like, dogs are, who walks dogs around can looking be for dogs expensive, to steal? Dogs can be expensive. They could be. Was he at French Bulldogs? I don't know. They was probably about Let's three, see. four, five thousand dollars a piece. I looked on Instagram. You know, Cheryl over here says my cat passed away last year, and I got him cremated. I oh. bought a nice urn for him. Yeah. Yo, Alex, appreciate the like. Yeah, she got bulldogs. These ain't no fancy ass dogs. Well, I got a bulldog. No, they're not bulldog. fancy. They're box, not box, worth box. thousands a, of dollars. Like I wouldn't steal that English dog. Bulldog. Hold up, hold up, hold up. She got French bulldogs and she got English bulldogs. She, she got, got a disciple that right there. She got the got a, she got the ones know. that cost the most. How you know? Because yes, I, I, I recall somebody saying something about in, in the news talking about the dogs was uh expensive. Yeah, I thought the dogs was like a little little um little high end. I didn't mm. think it was just like you know the little bulldog with the face. And the two feet sticking up on the side of my mouth, like. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, okay. Two of the singers, French bulldogs. So how much is it? Okay. Let's see, French bulldog. So there's an article on CNN that reads: "There's a reason why French bulldogs are such frequent targets of thieves." Okay, so look at this. You could look top quality dogs. Uh, can range from five fifty five uh, fifty five hundred mm -hmm. to ten thousand. Mm. So maybe maybe they stole it on purpose because that's about twenty thousand for two dogs. Yeah, maybe. Yo, according to this, according that to this article car. here, it says uh, they got one free. That's thirty thousand. You it think says, they? What? French bulldogs are the fourth most popular dog breed in the U.S. Yeah, and the smallest breed among the top five. Okay, so I was wrong. What's those little ugly dogs people be having then? Pugs. Those aren't expensive. Pugs. I think that's what you're Bugs, talking about. Chinese here. Pugs. Pugs aren't bulldogs, but they do kind of look like them, though. Joints right. from um, and in black. Yeah, the shit that's always drooling and shit like that. Mm. <laughs> yeah, but yeah. The I want to get my daughter dogs. a Yorkie. But I went into a pet store and they were running like two thousand. I'm like, yeah, oh. the, the price of animals is crazy. Um, a Yorkie. Let me go see what they got at the Humane Society. And, <laughs> and honestly, <laughs> and honestly, all dogs are pretty much just designed. Pretty much, you know, dogs are designed by people. We we, we created these things. Dogs are Started. like, they're not like natural creatures of the earth. We've recreated them by mixing species. You think, okay, I always thought that dogs were real animals. We just created different types of breeds. Breeds. I think yeah, they like were definitely dogs. animals. We just kind of altered the, breed, the breeds to get what you want in a dog. Yeah. But not like they just created these motherfuckers in a lab. No, no not in a lab. Created them from mixing like wolves with, with shit and shit, you know? Yeah. yeah. Wolves and, and jackals. Yeah, shit like so that. like all and of these husky. all of these dogs are like it's like, oh, if we mix this dog, this wolf with this, we can come up with this tiny wolf. <laughs> Yeah, so like all like these the dogs. Yeah. Uh, Ye says the LAPD tweeted what the suspects look like. Damn. Yeah. yeah. Yo, today's technology, you can't do nothing. Nah. <laughs> For real. And Cheryl and Cheryl says that's, they, they always have uh, Yorkies at the animal shelter too. Yeah, let me go look. Yeah. I need to go oh, look. I want a cute look little Yorkie. Tiny, tiny, tiny. <laughs> Say it again. Thought you just got hype. She like, yo. Yeah. I want to the I'm there. But you know what? I want a dog that's already like, I don't want to have to train this dog. I have a three year old. So I don't want to have to like go through all of this with a dog too. Yes. Yeah, Potty training you and work, teach you how to man. act and shit. I should probably get like a middle age 
But then again, I like to have the dogs when they're a baby so they get used to you. And mm-hmm. then I, I don't want to get some strange grown ass dog that might like spaz from time to time. Like, like no I don't want shit. that. <laughs> I got this, this. This puppy we got now is a biting ass motherfucker, yo. You know, mm. he just be she just be biting and nipping, but it's a puppy though. You know, it's only like two, three months old right now, twelve weeks, thirteen weeks, something like that. But it's it's not very old, you know. But uh, oh man, it's a pain in the ass, pain in the you know ass. You got this biting. What's that? My solution be with with the kids. I be like, when people say their kids bad, I be like. Well, have you talked to them a little bit more? You know, <laughs> try to figure out what the problem is, you know? Mm-hmm. Dogs, your dog being bad, you need to whoop their ass. <laughs> whoop her ass. She'll act right. Install some discipline in that damn dog. What about the house? <laughs> mm. Mm. My mom. <laughs> My mom told me a story the other day about when we had a dog when I was a baby. Mm-hmm. I don't remember the dog because we didn't have the dog long. My mom said they had the dog for a while. They was training the dog. And um, one day they had got like the uh, the floors polished, right? <laughs> <laughs> and right after they got the floors polished, the dog took a shit in the middle of the floor. <laughs> my mom said, "Yo, my dad got so pissed he threw the damn dog down the steps." Oh my god! <laughs> yo, it said, "Yo, shortly after that, they got rid of the damn dog." Damn, um, there was still a dog to get rid of. He probably broke his damn neck. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. Still a dog to get right. <laughs> Break the damn dog. Oh, shit. Uh, uh, yay shit. over here in the, in the, uh, yay in the chat says suspect Lady one. Gaga. Says suspect one is uh, described as a male, black, twenty to twenty-five years of age, blonde, dreadlocks, wearing a black hoodie. That sound like a nigga in L.A. <laughs> <laughs> a black two, male with male blonde black, locks. 20 to 25 years of age wearing dark clothing. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> You're right. You're right, too. Uh, what we got next, though? Yo, but, yo, you know, I hope I hope he makes a speedy recovery. I hope, uh... I hope he 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 recovers well and doesn't have any like long term damage or anything like that. I hope he's no longer. I hope he's not scared to walk dogs now. You know, I'm not sure if they actually have workers' compensation for dog walkers, but um, I hope he can continue walking dogs. Oh, shit nice like stuff. What's that? He should get a nice vacation from Lady Gaga, though. Yeah, he should get a nice vacation from Lady Gaga. She offering half a mil for two dogs. Hey, yeah. what about me? I'm pretty sure what she about- paid his his medical bills, paid him so. for his suffering, for getting shot. Like, he probably living lovely. He was already probably living nice. Imagine being a dog walker and you walking $20,000 dogs. Yeah, ex- Until exactly. now, because I'm pretty sure nobody going to hire his ass again. Either way, they took the dogs from you. No, now you can actually charge more. To walk dogs, even okay. So check it out. Check it out. Check I it wouldn't out. hire him if after, Lady Gaga's ooh. dogs got stolen and you got shot. I'm after not about this, to hire you to walk my dogs. After this incident, <laughs> people that walk um French bulldogs, people that people that walk French bulldogs rates are going up. I bet you. You got one. You had one job. You know. I mean, not to make fun of it, because it's not funny. It wasn't his fault he got shot. But, like, seriously. If yes, I heard it was. that just happened to you, I probably... I'm joking. It I wasn't his fault. It wasn't his I don't want to lose my dogs, too. Mm-hmm. Now, if niggas, if niggas jump out on... If two niggas jump out a car with guns and say, give me the dogs, you fighting? Huh? When you said <laughs> if two niggas jumped out a door, I'd have been running, first off. <laughs> the dogs, if they ran with me, you know, if they stayed, that's another story. <laughs> what? Are you giving them the dogs? I ain't even in the vicinity anymore. 
<laughs> yeah. Mm-mm. Yeah, so. That's yeah, crazy. It was crazy. That was some crazy shit. Mm-mm-mm. You All know right. what? I saw something about Jay-Z today. What you saw about Jay-Z? Let me see. Are you a Jay-Z fan, by the way? I am. You are? You listen to Jay-Z music? Uh, sometimes. All right. That yeah. sound bad. I am sometimes. <laughs> um, Jay Z invests in Perch Credit app aimed at helping minorities boost credit yes, scores. Yes, I did read something about that earlier. Um, you know, let me change this right here. So basically, the app allows users to log their reoccurring payments, such as subscriptions or rent, as credit history to improve their credit scores immediately says since being launched in 2019 the company has secured 2.5 million investment in like startup and sean carter has become the key investor which that is, is a great idea it's a good I mean, idea it's interesting i wonder um very smart reports directly to the bureau so you don't have to so wait they would uh is it a new bureau or is it going to be the, the, the current credit bureaus? And if so, did they have to like strike a deal with them to, to kind of like, because they're just talking about regular monthly payments on things that you're doing, like your Netflix payments, you know, your, 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 your cable payment, your cell phone payment and start reporting those as like, um, for good credit. Like credit. I don't yeah. think it's going to be a new bureau. It's still going to report to the bureau. It's just an easier way to track your Make monthly your payment, expenses your, to your boost credit. your credit because normally you have to jump through hoops to do that. Mm-hmm. Like, and that type of stuff don't report directly when you pay your phone bill on time every month. Yeah, it doesn't report really to the bureau. So what they're doing is making an app to make it easier for you to be able to log that. Mm-hmm. You get what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So I think it's like I think it's like. And making that accessible to everybody, which is why they say um, aimed at helping uh, minorities boost their credit scores. Mm-hmm. So, you know, people paying to get their credit fixed right now. Basically, like this app is going to do that work for them. Which would be dope. Yeah. So I'm curious to see how it actually pans out, though. You know, <laughs> I'm interested to see uh, like what type of companies and stuff actually accept those type of payments oh shit didn't want to do that except that payment history i should say you know what you said one time that you don't like touch your nose on camera because you don't want people to think you do like no i said i do touch my nose on camera and I'd be like, yeah, I wonder if motherfuckers think I do coke and shit like that. Because okay, my nose well, be itching and shit. But, and it don't be itching, like, itching. I got a piece of hair growing out my nose. And sometimes it's just kind of like... That's TMI, but... You know, kind of just like tingles, tingles. That's TMI, but my point was... <laughs> I was going to say, ever since you said that, like, now when I'm on camera, I kind of mm-hmm. go like this. But it's because when I'm smoking, the smoke like burns my nose and it tickles like I'm gonna sneeze or sneeze. something. Yeah. So okay. if I sneeze, it's because the snow, the smoke got in my nose. So I'm not like wiping my nose, like. You know. <laughs> and see, now you're worried about the same things I did. Mm-hmm. It's because you said it. <laughs> I thought it was some bullshit when you said it, by the way. But like now, I'm like, oh, let me. Oh, now you see what I'm talking about. <laughs> No, no, I understand how people might misconstrue, misconstrue me scratching my nose a couple of times too many. Nah, because you know what? You know why, though? If you realized, if you looked around and saw how many people around you really do cope, mm-hmm. like mm-hmm. a girl walked up to me in Ebor, it was my birthday. Walked up to me and my homegirl. She was like, y'all are so beautiful. I don't want to, I don't want to touch your locks, but they're so gorgeous and this and that, right? Mm -hmm. Talked to us all the way to the car and then just kept telling us how beautiful we were, our hair, all of that shit, right? Mm -hmm. She was fucked up. And then pulls out 
her little thing is like, you mind if I do a line right here? <laughs> like, block me real quick. And I'm like, block you, bitch. What are you, what is yeah. going on? Yeah. So, but you know, I'm used to seeing a lot of crazy shit. So I just watched her do it. Like, oh, okay. And she's like, you want some? I'm like, nah, we just smoke weed. And she's like, oh, well, I got a blunt. I'm like, nah, I'm good. Yeah, I don't want to know. No, no hell no. Nah. But you got in your blunt. <laughs> Yeah. But people, and they, they do it in front of you. Like, it's normal. Like, yeah, you can just sniff do. some shit up your nose. No, some people do. Yeah, I, I've, I've met a few people that, that, uh, that I'm, I'm, a, I'm a weed person. I'm a weed, liquor, and vagina person, you know? That, that, those are my vices. You know, that's, that's what I like. I don't, um, I don't need much more than that, you know? So a motherfucker's like, Plus, I think I have an addictive personality. I think we Sounds all like, like I'm scared vagina. to do it. I might like it. I'm scared to do it because I might like it. And I know <laughs> when I like things, I'd be like, you know what? Let me try that again. You know? I think we so, all like vagina, Kari. Yes. Don't you, know? you Bees? Yeah, I like vagina. <laughs> <laughs> you know? But that's, said, that's... Yeah, I like vagina. <laughs> <laughs> that's why that's why I won't try coke or other drugs because I'm worried I might like it in in the same <laughs> way. <laughs> Say <Yeah>. what? Try <laughs> coke. You scared you're gonna like it? That's why them people do it, because they like no, it. No, not in that order. Cheryl said in that order, no. Not necessarily in that order. No. What no, order no. did you say it in? I don't know, but I think vagina was last. No. That's vagina not was last. <laughs> that's not the order. Was... <laughs> <laughs> Liquor first, then weed. Nah, that's not the then order. Then vagina. I would have to go vagina, weed, liquor. That's how I'd have to go. If I had to put it in order. <laughs> order of importance you know order of importance that's yeah. like okay i only got 50 dollars. i need gas i need food and i want some pussy <laughs> <laughs> so do you just get two <laughs> do you get do you get two and like substitute the last one to what until next week when you get paid again <laughs> <laughs> get two what <laughs> 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 you substitute the pussy for next week till you get paid again. I, I would rather not substitute the pussy until I get paid again. <laughs> How do we get into these conversations? It is Friday, isn't yeah. it? It is Friday. Yeah, it's Friday. <laughs> it's Friday. We got shit to do but to make yeah. some henny coladas. Yes. Yeah, we uh, you know what? I love the segue, Tati, because I do have up next on the docket, Drinking with Bees. Do -do 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 -do. Wait, I actually got the air horn. <laughs> how are we going to transition this? How are we going to transition this? Let's see. Um, actually, boom, 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 boom. Oh, shit, that's not how Y'all, I'm so tired of turning on the radio and hearing body yaddy 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 yaddy. Yeah, so that's how we're gonna transition. I'm so oh, tired. Oh shit, that's not what I wanted over there. What's going on? We're gonna transition this. All right. To so where, let me um, clean up over here. Right. I got liquor and more liquor. This is what I was using to make my green tea shot. Oh, you know what I want to see? I want to see if I could uh, focus this. Oh, please pardon me, y'all. Y'all are just looking at me edit some screens right now as uh, we set up for this uh, quick little segment that we got going on tonight with the homie Beast. He's going to be showing us how to make Henny Coladas. I was telling, telling Tati about um, Henny Coladas a couple of weeks ago and how Florida doesn't really do the Henny Coladas like that, you know? I say, yo, let me get a Henny Colada. They look at me like I'm crazy. I be like, yo, let me get a Henny Colada. They be like, what? What happened over here? Oh, I'm, I'm over here messing with some stuff right now. Pardon me, y'all. I might go to the beach again tomorrow. You might go to the beach again tomorrow? 
Yeah, I went to the beach yesterday because it was gorgeous. It was just like the perfect day to go to the beach. It was hot. It was a little windy when it needed to be. The beach does sound fun. The beach was beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. Wow, neither. Um Yeah, it was beautiful. I might go tomorrow. You know what? I have to go to the mall tomorrow. And I cannot forget. I always wait until last minute to get an outfit when I have events to go to. So I probably won't be doing all that. Oh, y'all seeing me double time, huh? <clears throat> Should I just push mine back? We got that one right there. We got this one right here. Ah, oh, that's how we do it on the fly. And once 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 we start, I actually come over there and stuff like that. It's up to you. I could I could rearrange it or move it. How you think it should be? Where you uh, insert a commercial. A commercial. This would be a good time for a commercial, huh? You know what? Let me let's see. Let's see. Uh how could I do a commercial here? You know what I could do for a commercial, actually? I could do a uh a little performance real quick. So yeah. yeah. Let's do that real quick. Let's go to a little performance. I'm not sure what performance this would be while we uh go ahead and get this set up for y'all. Well, for us, so we can fucking figure out how to do this shit. <laughs> I don't even know what performance I got here. Let's see. Let's see, that's not the performance I want. What's that? I think you should do the interviews because you never did. Which interview? From the pool party. Oh yeah, I'm not sure if I actually exported that. Let me let me see. Did I have that? What did we call it? Do you remember what we called it? I don't know, but while I look for it, I'll uh I'll let y'all watch this. Um, y'all know. So, so for those of y'all that don't know, that aren't aware, Tati is actually uh a model too. Whoa. Huh? I didn't say anything. It's uh, true, guys. Tati's a model, so I doubt. I'm actually gonna uh play this video. Um. I look like video. a bum right now, but I, I get, I dress up, I clean up now. Let's see, let's see what this looks like here real quick. Oh. Oh, wait, 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 damn it, man. <laughs> I just realized I can't play that because of the music. You know what? So let me go ahead and mute the music on that. <laughs> I'm gonna mute the music because otherwise I'll get copywritten and we ain't trying to get copywritten. So let me know let me know when y'all ready. Where, where, where Bees are at? Where you at, Bees? I'm right here. Alright, alright. Oh, I could do this though. Let me see. Oh man, I think I didn't be able to do it. Damn it. Mm. Hey. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, whoa. Okay. You see us standing up. Uh, so I want to do yeah, high over here. All right. So definitely follow the herbal goddess three underscore you know and we about to get this uh get this party started right we about to get this party started quickly right send it off i suggest y'all send it off I what send it off send it off mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. you know what? let me uh come over here real quick i'll turn it off stop that turn it off 
Let's get some background music over here right quick. Yeah, yeah. Some, we got some background music while we uh, get this get this ready and shit like that. Uh, we definitely got to practice this next time we try to do something like this. You know? Yes. <laughs> you know what I mean? Definitely, definitely. We definitely got to uh, rehearse and practice shit like this in the future. We mad. We be going live and direct and we getting, we getting ready to get this popping. All right, so Bees is getting ready to show us how to make a make a proper uh, Henny Colada and shit like that, man. Because uh, we've been trying to... Uh, what's that? Punch, Punch World Bees, baby. Punch World Bees. Punch World Bees. Punch okay. World Bees. Oh, wait, wait. So, she's missing the, uh, the Henny over here. Yeah. The over here. Yo, the most important part. It's gotta be better like that. So, first, I like to start off with your ice. You know, nice, plentiful All right. amount of ice. Don't let it melt. Don't let it melt. Okay. Thank you. you know, uh, what y'all think? One so, night. so are you gonna make two of those drinks? I will. One more light, though. You want more light? Well, I think that's a good light. I don't know. Well, we start off. I'm starting off with the ice. You starting off with the ice? The ice. Give me one second. Oh, so you got to blend shit? Yeah. You blend. Yeah, you blend, bro. Okay. Got to blend. Blended and shaking, yo. It's not about pouring. It's about blending and shaking, yo. I'm over here adjusting the lights. I guess I need like a lighting crew or some shit like that. We need a lighting crew now. Me? No, I said I said we need a lighting crew over here. To light the set. Alright, so. Oh, you also gonna need a candle opener. Hmm? Need a candle. Yo, this is so so professional. So professionally unorganized. <laughs> yeah, but we begin. We doing some. We doing some bartender shit here. We we getting some bartender lessons. Drinking with bees. Bartender lessons. You know what I'm saying? Let me update that title. You know. So. I put my headphones on, y'all. Okay, now I can hear you. All right. All right. We are ready. You ready? You ready? We are ready. I'm ready, y'all. All right. So we got my, we got me here. We got Bezo over here. We got Tachi here, and then we got the drink station right there. Yeah. Oh, be careful. Please start off with your you start off with your ice, man. Start off with your ice. I think she's just getting the pineapple I'm ready. I'm just opening it. Okay. Tati, you let me know when you're ready. Cause... I'm ready right now. All right. All right. I'm, I'm going to observe. Are we recording? Are we recording? We recording. We, 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 we live. live streaming, baby. <laughs> just being recorded. We live yeah. streaming. <laughs> start off with your ice. Okay. Uh, we got ice. Ice. Yeah, I should drop the ice in the blender. Oh. Mm. Get some ice up in there. Get you a little bit more ice up in there, girl. More ice? Gotcha. Yeah. A little bit more. Okay. 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 All right. Be right back. More ice. Uh, I should have got some um, assistance over here to help out with, with the ice grabbing and shit like that. Yo, KJ, bring your ass in here and get some ice. Uh, that's how my dad would have been back in the days. But like, yo, Corey, can you bring me some ice, boy? <laughs> Man, have me stop playing my video games just to come bring in some damn ice. Oh, man. She's grabbing that ice. And, I, and I'm slowly getting my own little bar over here, too, bees. You know? Hey. 
I'm slowly getting my own little bar set up here. So, so now I got some cognac. You know, I got some tequila here. I got some whiskey in the crib and all of that. You know what I'm saying? So we should be ready. And I think she's... Are, are you washing off the ice? Are you washing off the ice? Okay, I think she's washing off the ice, you know. And it's alcohol. There's no reason to wash. I'm saying I got an ice maker. Just I got an ice maker. That's an ice maker in there. I'm, I'm just guessing. I'm just not. Concentrate. I'm not sure. I'm concentrating. I'm concentrating. All right. You know. We in there. Ready? We in the house. We in the house. And we, what we got now? What we got now? We good or more? Uh, the ice. Okay. Yeah. You good. You good. We good on ice, ice. over there. Then we are gonna go with the henny. With now the henny. I know I said. I said like three ounces of Henny, but depending on what type of drinker you may be, you can go okay. three, you can go four, five, okay. you can go six. Do yours first. You know? Let me see how much you have because I'm going to eyeball it. All right. Well, I'm going to go on an 18 count. How about that? All right. Let me see. Okay. All right, hey. got you. Heard you. Boom. Wait, I'm making two hey. cups. Right? I'm making two cups, yeah. yeah. Boom. Should be no, you should be I'm making two cups too. Okay, okay, cool. Okay, okay. Y'all see how much I put in here? Half a bottle. Half a bottle. You good? You good? I'm good. Then we're going to get to the Armoretta. Armoretta. Got you. I said, uh, I believe I said that was a two, two ounce. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You can go with your discretion depending on how sweet you would like it. Uh-huh. I go with two. Mm-hmm. 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 Okay. He's still pouring. All right. Uh, they were like, all right. I feel like I got to adjust this, but this ain't doing us justice right here. I use coconut water. Coconut water. Now, this right here, this going to be like, like the gate, this going to make it like a Gatorade for you. Oh. Okay, I really you know thought you was about to say something about it. it's going to make it gay. I didn't think it was going to be Gatorade. No, 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 no. Like, like a Gatorade for you, you know what I mean? Instead of like, you know, most drinking gets you like um, sluggish, kind of, you know. Yeah. This It's going to give you a little pep in your step, like a little yeah. hydration. Okay. Are you what you call it? I'll go with the coconut water. Okay. With or without pieces, doesn't matter. All right. All of it? Uh, majority of it. Cool. Now how big? How big are those coconut right. water? Oh, y'all both got the same size coconut water. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Then okay, I got a different pineapple from y'all. We got the, the 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 dull pineapple over there. What is this? The pina colada? Oh, oh, pineapple. Yeah, no, pineapple juice. Gotcha. Okay. Now you're going to go with the pineapple juice. Okay. We get Henny Colada's built out over here. Oh. All right. Then you're going to go with your pina colada mix. All right. I didn't have no pina colada mix, so I'm going to substitute with the heavy cream. Okay. Heavy oh, cream. You know what? Yeah, While that, let me grab the almond milk. Is yeah. that what? Is that what? What's that? Yeah, a lot of mix, so you don't need the almond milk. Wait, I bought the almond milk because I, so it's okay. So it's either pina colada mix or almond milk, not oh. both. Yeah. Yeah, okay, that's what okay, I was saying. So which one you think we should use? Use the pina colada mix. The pina colada? Okay. Yeah. Okay. The pina colada. Oh! It'll, it'll give it a more, um, it'll make it a more, for a better smoothie-like. 
a little okay. bit of smoothie like and how alcohol much of this smoothie. am i putting in here well how much we putting in this this is our see, first how to online by how the much? way um i say um he said poor and he'll tell you when to stop yeah. basically okay listen i don't know if there's a all lag right. all right stop stop okay <laughs> chef b's remotely over here bartender b <laughs> all right then you know what you do after this Blame. Bling! I, they gotta hear all this, huh? I can mute my mic. See, I muted it right there. Let's see. What we see, what we got here now. Uh -huh. We blending and blending and blending and blending and blending. This thing full. Okay, this looks like it's gonna be tasty. How much are we supposed to blend? That much or more or less? Blend it till you get it to like a, a smoothie like till it looks like it's a smoothie like. Until it looks like a smoothie. Yes. Okay. Oh, I think you got a little bit of leakage over there. Yeah, I I do. Mine is full. Uh. Oh, I think oh, oh. I think this is a good time to call in the dog. The dog would clean this mess up pretty quickly. And then you right. pull. I and just kept pull. going because I didn't want it to. Y'all not gonna tell me I'm the reason it don't taste good, okay? She said, right. and then you pull. And then you have the Henny Collapse. The Henny Colada. Let's see. Let's 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 get us a taste. Let me see. Let me see if this gives me City Island feel. Is this gonna give me City Island feel, bees? Let's see. My shit is better than City Island. My shit is better right, than City cheers. Island. Oh, we didn't cheers. Nobody oh waited. shit. Oh, okay. Cheers. Cheers. Yeah. Cheers to everybody drinking some Henny Coladas this evening. It's a Friday night, baby. Sipping some Henny Coladas. What you How think? was that? I like it. It's good. Okay. It's good. What you think, Tati? It's good. It's really sweet too. At first, you 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 was you was, you was a little skeptical at first, huh? We said milk, and I I don't do liquor with milk. It's like I just mixing can't. vodka and milk. You was kind of skeptical at first, though, wasn't you? I was a little bit. I'm not gonna lie, but it's good. It's sweet. It's good. It's good. It's not like it's not too no, pina colada. It's not right? too henny. And you don't taste yeah. any. You know? And also, but and um, one of the things Bees actually did was he blended his. You know, I kind of feel like when I when I ordered this in restaurants when I was at NY, I kind of feel like they just I could see the Hennessy in the drink. You know? Gotcha. Really? I could actually see the Hennessy sitting around inside the drink. So they shook it. They didn't shake it. They just dropped it in. What you doing? You making another drink or you making your drink stronger? It's, it looks like, wait, it kind of looks like, it looks like this shot is coming to me. Why, why is there another shot coming to me? This is shot. Why, why is there a fourth shot? Because you actually waited to take your fourth shot. Where's so your shot? But I just had day. a heavy colada. Where's your shot? Oh. And you know what? I've... I haven't taken any shots since the show. I think I took a shot earlier today, way earlier. Ooh. Oh, wait. Why is my title still fucked? Up? Yo, wait. Did I not save this? Why didn't nobody tell me that my um my ticker was um, incorrect? So did you say there was somebody on the phone? No. No, I don't think I said somebody on the phone. Or were you just phone. announcing that the phone lines were on? The phone lines are open, by the way, you know? You can give us a call, 813-559-3339, you know? We got the phone lines open and shit like that. Give us a call. No, but I like this drink. Oh, so are we, are Okay, we, are, so are hold up, hold up, hold up. I washed the oh. ice because I was taking <laughs> it out with my hand, right? Mm-hmm. And after I put it in the cup, my hand was kind of powdery. Like... 
And I didn't know what the fuck the powder was. So I'm like, let me just rinse it just to be safe. I didn't know if maybe like you froze the ice too long and the fluoride came out the water. I don't I don't know. <laughs> so I just wanted to be safe. So I well, rinsed it off. I thought you rinsed off the ice because it's an automatic rinsed ice. Off? You sound like my grandma. Rinsed. That's how my grandma say rinse. Rinsed off. <laughs> rinse. Duh, 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 duh. <laughs> rinsed off the ice because it's an automatic ice maker and i'm not sure if it has the proper filterage on there or shit like that i yeah, don't know i don't know but you know? i rinsed it y'all <laughs> i don't know i don't even like ice cheryl says she's gonna make this tomorrow yeah you should you should you should and you know what cheryl put some extra hennessy in here I mean, ours is pretty strong, but you put an extra. Yeah, you did make a shot. Oh, 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 are, we, are we taking shots right now? I already took mine. You already took yours? Oh, I see, ahead, I see your thing empty. Oh, shit. Mm. Ooh, 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 that's good. <laughs> this is pretty good, though. Bees, you got anything we can make with tequila? Ooh, um, tequila drinks. Yes. I or love whiskey tequila. Or, 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 or some Jack Daniels. Oh. I oh. love tequila. That's my favorite. Mine as well. Tequila. Yeah, tequila is my favorite liquor at the moment. Mm. I, got, I got a dope drink with Tropicana, uh, strawberry, what is it? Strawberry orange, banana, I think it is. Uh-huh. Okay. And, and some tequila. Okay. Yeah, you just gotta shake it up. Shake it, shake it. Okay. Ooh, shake it, shake it. I just shake mix, it, shake I'll mix tequila with anything that's juice, really. Mm -hmm. yeah. Can you can you can you pass me that 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 phone? We done we done with the whole setup with the whole um drink setup? Yeah, unless you guys had something else you wanted to do. I don't think so. I don't I don't have anything. I don't have anything. But after drinking nothing. What's that? I said after drinking with bees, we, we ain't have no no other topics. Oh no, we got some more topics. We got some more topics. I was just saying about the whole video for the uh setup stuff, you know? You know, because we can go back to uh, yeah, we gotta... go back to the three the the, the 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 three up. You know what I'm saying? Boom, we back three up. Bam. You know what I'm saying? That was a nice little segue, little uh, little way how we kind of like brought all of that in together and shit like that. I like how I like how this is going, man. This is all like on the fly in real time. Ain't no editing. Just we just making it happen, y'all. Yo. You know what I'm saying? So we'll be yeah. more organized next time. As, as as things go and progress, it's the first time we've ever tried to do something like this on on the show and shit like that. So you know what? I think we did pretty good what being camera? that this is the very first time, and we just kind of just did it on the fly. You know? Yeah. What's that? Yeah, I wasn't trying to get myself straight. Oh, bless you. Sorry, y'all. Thank you. Now you, you, you good. <laughs> it sounds powerful. I'm good, G. All right, so. Uh, that was that was some uh, drinking with bees, some bartender lessons, yo. So we so now I now I know how to make a uh, a henny colada and shit like that, and so I could get henny coladas while I'm in uh, Florida because I can't never to get them. And and yo, bees, why does yours look so? Mine's just like we still got. Uh -uh. Don't do that. What? Why is yours so wet? I think I drink mine's fast. Yeah, uh -uh. that was a good save, right? No, I think I drank mine's was. fast. No, no, mine's was looking like like bees. Mine's was a little fuzzy at the top. When I say fuzzy, I mean foamy. Like when I say foamy, I mean like the pina colada was kind of like this the top. Is, this is this mine is slushy. You're just slushy. You to talk about my drink. No, you no, 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 no. Okay, don't Not even heard that. don't even try that. Don't even try that. This drink was great. My drink is almost gone, by the way. Oh, it is gone, by the way. Here, take mine. 
Well, you trying to get me drunk or something? She's trying to get me drunk, y'all. I don't I'm know. that friend that be like, I ain't see you take a shot. Take another one. Shit, you saw me take several. <laughs> you know, <laughs> I was gonna roll a blunt. I think we need another blunt. That's, That's what gonna I think be we like need. the third blunt. What I know. To the other one. Um, it was smoked. It was smoked. Thank you for it's that. Friday night. I'm gonna make some more. It's Friday night. Well, you know what? We got a lot right here. <laughs> And it's only 1029. It's early. Is it? Is this early? 1029 is early? Yeah, that's early. Rock them, stock them. Let's do it. All right. All right. So, you know, all right, so what's next up on the docket? You know what's next up on the docket? Some more uh, black excellence. You know who Winston Duke is? No. No. Y'all don't know who Winston Duke is? You seen, you seen uh, Black Panther? Mm-hmm. He mm -hmm. played. He played in Black Panther. He also played in, I think, Get Out as well. Which one? The main character? No. What's his name? Winston Duke. Winston. Is he like Bill Duke's son or something? Nah. It's, oh, uh, uh, that's the dude that does the little, the big buff dude in Black Panther. Yeah. Yeah. He played. He played in Get Out. He wasn't really the villain. He didn't play in Get Out? No. Didn't he have a small role in Get Out? No. No. Y'all sure? Yeah. You talking about the dude from Get Out was in that movie. The dude that played Fred. Um, What's the movie we watched the other day? The Black Messiah? Uh, Yeah, Judas and the I Black Messiah. Grandpa. Yeah, that dude. I can't remember his what's name. He was the lead did? character in Get Out, and he played in Black Panther, too. But that's the dude you're talking about. Yeah, the buff, the buffer guy. Yeah, that dude. You know, he played in. Nah, uh, he wasn't. Like, he wasn't gonna get out. Nah. I, th I thought he had a, a small part in that in that shit. Okay, I was mistaken. Oh well, but but anyway, that motherfucker, that motherfucker. Let me be a little more. I thought respectful. we were talking about Black Excellence. What he do? So, he's actually starring in a a, a movie that's coming up. Mm -hmm. And this movie is, um, if I'm not mistaken, he'd be playing Marcus Garvey in this movie. I'm not aware wow. of who Marcus Garvey is. Wow. Yeah, wow. Who's Marcus Garvey? Oh. Explain the beat. Marcus Garvey. Yeah, well, I Let me know something. Quick. Was that like an activist general, like, um... So, Marcus Garvey was a Jamaican political activist, publisher, journalist, entrepreneur, and orator. He was the founder and first president of general, first president general of the Universal <coughs> Negro Improvement Association of African Community Leagues, though which he declared himself provisional president of Africa. Mm. Okay, yeah. so he was a leader of the Pan-Africanism movement, mm -hmm. which sought to unify and connect people of African to, uh, descent worldwide. In the U.S., he was a... Sorry, y'all, Sean, tell me something about cookies. But in the U.S., he was a noted civil rights activist who founded the Negro World newspaper. Okay, so I've heard of this. Mm -hmm. um, a shipping company called Black Star Line and the Universal Negro Improvement Association, or UNIA, um, a black I nationalist. Think. Okay. Okay, so I heard about the newspaper. I didn't learn about that at one point, but I didn't know he did all of this. Yeah, he was a uh, very strong figure. Okay. You know, and uh, black history mm -hmm. you know like i know who he is i didn't know exactly how to describe <laughs> him this is also the last show of black history my friend it is it the is. last week it is so let's talk about a little bit about marcus garvey if i actually looked it up really quick but i didn't okay so he was from <laughs> jamaica he is yes 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 and let's see. And is the actor from Jamaica or is he is he English? He's English. The actor is gonna be the dude from um Black Panther. I believe he is English. He's from like I don't remember Europe or something. You know, he went to Harlem in nineteen sixteen. 
Mm, that's interesting. Okay, he was born into slavery. Mm -hmm. I didn't know that. Mm -hmm. Okay. He authored the name of his book was Declaration of Rights of the Declaration of Rights of the Negro Peoples of the World. Mm -hmm. I'm saying so, I'm like, that's pretty dope. So he got a role like that. That's a pretty important role. Yeah. So he's going to be playing Marcus Garvey in the upcoming movie, which um, I'm pretty positive I'm going to watch it when it comes out. You know, because it's going to. Um, even though I do know some things, it's definitely going to open my eyes to a lot of things I did not know or was not aware of. Like, I knew who Fred Hampton was, you know? I knew, like, some of the things he did. But the movie kind of opened my eyes up to some things I wasn't really aware of. Like, it's like, it's like I knew who he was, but until I really watched the movie, it was like, all these years, I knew who he who he was, things he did, but never realized that he did all of this by the age of twenty one, you know, until I watched the movie for some reason, like like little 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 things like that. I didn't really look into at that at that depth until like just the movie come out, you know. So I know when I see this movie, it's gonna make me pay attention just a little more, learn things I didn't know about or shit like that, like like the Muhammad Ali movie. You know, I knew I knew who Muhammad Ali was and, and a lot of things like that, but I didn't really understand fully all of this shit because it was before my time. It was before I kind of like experienced it myself and shit like that or, or witnessed it, you know, things like that. Okay. The political, you know, like the political end of who Muhammad Ali was and things of that nature, That's what, that's what you mean? Yeah, like, I knew some of the political things about him. I didn't know as much. It's like, the movie was like a little biography about him, even though it wasn't really a biography about him. It was just like about his life. You know what I'm saying? It was like, um, mm -hmm. just, 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 just show me little tidbits I didn't really pay attention to as closely, you know, just kind of reading about him and understanding him that I did and, and watching the movie. Little, t little things that they kind of pointed out and shit like that. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. Like, um, oh man, what was that movie that, that came out a couple of years back, a few years back that kind of, uh, it was, it was renamed, it was named after a movie that came out, ah, oh, damn, I can't even, oh my God, I drank too much, I can't think of his name off the top of my head. Who, 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 who led the slave rebellion? Who the most famous one that led the slave rebellion? Nat Turner. Oh. What was the movie about Nat Turner? I I didn't I never seen. Yeah, I've never seen it either. No, y'all didn't see that movie. No. No, uh, I didn't even know Nat Turner had a had a movie. Like I've seen like the Huey Newton joints. I've seen um. Ah, uh, you know why? Birth of a Nation. That was the name of it. Came out in 2016. Birth of a Nation. You know, you know, you didn't see that movie? I think I heard of that movie, and it had a lot of press, but I didn't go see it. Okay, that was a good movie. You know, um, and it was about Nat Turner. He was 31. He kind of led the slave rebellion and shit like that. And, and like, really, uh, it was, it was, but I think the reason why some of y'all probably didn't see it was because the guy that played Nat Turner in the movie, he kind of had, which he had some allegations against him right when that movie was about to come out. He was in a bunch, he was a bunch of shit. He was in a bunch of shit prior to that. But no allegations or nothing. That movie comes out all yeah, of a sudden. So What's that? Yeah, so my scene allegations? Some psych, psych type of um I forget exactly what his allegations were, but it was like um Oh man, I can't think of the think of the words for the top of my head. It was uh, um it's like him hitting on somebody or or you know what I'm saying? Hitting Domestic on somebody. Violence? No, hit Battery? Not, not not like beating somebody up. But trying to holler at somebody a little too aggressively, oh. you know. I think, I think, I'm not sure. Don't quote me on that. Got a shot and missed, but kept shooting. Yeah, yeah. Ugh. You know, nigga shot a shot and shot a shot too many times. Too, too Ooh. aggressively. That's what I think happened. You know, you know how niggas be though. You know, niggas got 
Niggas be old school and new school at the same time. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Niggas be like, yo, I can't let her know that I like me, but <laughs> I'm going to shoot my shot because women want men to chase them. <laughs> so I'm going so even when she says no that's me saying she wants me to continue to chase her I mean a lot of men do that right so that's what I'm the, saying what's the the line cause some men some men will t- say that that's uh, being determined going after the woman that you want and then sometimes they do end up together some men are are labeled creeps or they doing too much. Mm-hmm. Like, I think what is it, the line? I think the line comes with whether the woman is attracted to the man or not. That's true. Because if I don't like you <laughs> and you just keep shooting your shot at this point, sir, you're harassing me. Okay? <laughs> yeah. Because <laughs> I now, do not want to talk. <laughs> when, 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 like back when, you know, shooting the shot was the thing. Yo, some chicks be having bulletproof vests, yo. What? <laughs> what? Some some chicks got bulletproof vests and Matumbo in front of them. What? Yes. You know? But you got to recognize when that is, though. So, yeah, some dudes, they see that and they want to keep going. Like, why you yeah. playing games? You know, I think why that, you flagging? I think, that's a, I think that's a good topic to jump into. It's like, nigga, you know we ain't much. flagging. I don't yeah. want you. <laughs> the fuck it's a lot of dudes talking to they self in my dms right now some guys are so persistent they do it for years two three years the same guy okay, I, just, DM. I just i just changed no uh, response i just changed the showrunner down here just now it says when should you stop shooting your shot i think women are uh, okay women that do shoot their shot are a lot better at not shooting their shot, at stopping than men. Say that one more time. Women that shoot their shot, they're only going to shoot but show men so many times. You know? A woman's only going to shoot her shot but so many times. You know what I mean? Like, a woman might shoot her, shoot her shot in my DMs or 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 something like that because she's met me before in person. So now she's going to try and shoot her shot. So she might like send a message and be like, oh, maybe he didn't recognize that that message was me shooting my shot. Maybe he thought it was just a comment. So she'll message again and then message, <laughs> you know? So then, but, but at some point she'll be like, okay, this dude just ain't interested and just stop. I imagine that might be different for men. Uh, From your experience. I wouldn't shoot my shot that many times. I'm be honest with you. (laughs) I think sometimes, sometimes I feel like me just responding to you is your opening. Now, I'm not going to shoot my shot. I'm not going to shoot my shot. Mm -hmm. I'm going to just open the door. Okay. And so, pretty much, if I ignore you, I don't want you. Best believe when you message me. That's how I feel. Some people, some That's people, so I'm not going to say this. Some people, when they message me, I see the message. I go look at their profile. No. Mm-hmm. And so, you're not going to get a message, right? Mm-hmm. But somebody I'm interested in, somebody that I probably want to talk to, maybe if they message me, I'll respond. And it's like, okay. That's your opening, depending on my response. Or maybe I hit them up or like comment on something. Like me, I feel like me trying to initiate conversation with you is like, okay, Mm -hmm. you got some space to do what you want. Try to shoot your shot. I'll listen. (laughs) But. (laughs) Okay. Okay. So if a motherfucker says I'll listen, that's, that's like, okay, go ahead. That's that's the yeah. uh, free Go throw. Ahead, I'm that's, 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 that's the free throw. Yeah. But now, can like you, Can you make it? <laughs> can you make it? <laughs> Let's see. You know? <laughs> Let's see if you finna make this. Cause if not, I'm finna walk away. I just wanna know. 
<laughs> but yeah, I'm I'm probably that's the most that I'm gonna do. I'm not gonna shoot my shot. Two, three. If I if I comment on something and you don't reply, mm-hmm. I'm probably not gonna talk to you again. So women commenting on shots. Okay, so let's say you post like a story or some shit. You look good. Mm-hmm. Maybe I might comment something on the story, which is really like an inbox to you. Mm-hmm. Okay, you know? so whenever somebody compliments me, that's a shot? No. If I'm complimenting a man, I want you. With women, if if they're complimenting so, you, so you telling maybe me, maybe not. Okay, so okay, you telling me, me wait, 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 wait. So that. you telling me all the motherfucking just oh thank you very much and kept it moving. That was but me that's what, that's ignoring said, women that's, saying, "Hey, Kari, I would like to play with your balls." Okay, you do. <laughs> you going too far. When, okay, what I'm saying is, he do too much. Ain't nobody talking about balls but you. What? Okay, so what I'm saying is. Women don't think about that. Women don't think about, oh, he's cute. I wonder if he will pipe me good. Women don't think about that. Anyway, what I was saying was. They do because he went right to anyway. What I was saying was, okay, I forgot. Uh What I was saying was, I wasn't saying that with all women that's what they you know responded back or giving a compliment is them wanting to be with you I know, I'm some women the like if they initiate it and they're a little flirty you know when somebody flirting with you that means yes I, I'm I know, interested I don't, I, don't, I don't always know when somebody's flirting with me you know when people are flirting with you I don't always Everybody know when somebody's flirting being with flirted with. I, I don't do you always know when somebody's flirting with you, bees? Nah. Men, men, men don't always recognize that. I, I've, I'll tell you. I and check it. This is why some Cheryl, men. Where you are at? I tell you what. Some men, huh? No. Go ahead. Men be knowing. Because it's like he's man. I forgot what I was gonna say. Yo, I've had women. Okay, so is is eye contact flirting? Depends on the type of eye contact. So, so if been, I want, if I'm flirting with a dude, ah oh man, this shit is so funny. And we don't know each other yet, but we in the same room. But I want him to know that it's okay to talk to me when we lock eyes. I'm gonna look directly in his eyes for a few seconds. Mm-hmm. And then act like nothing ever happened, mm-hmm. and that's your opening to walk over and Yo, be like, "Hey, I've had that. I've had that. Yeah, that's the flirty eye. You got to look him dead in his eye just for like I've, I've, I've had that. four seconds. I've look him dead in his that eye before, and then just act like." Nothing I've happened. had that before. Like yo, for real, for real. This this been this been women like like. It got, I'm, I just said, you know what? I don't know what the fuck is going on anymore. Like, we made eye contact, our eyes locked. That right? shit feels very intense when it's a stranger. Exactly. You don't know them. Exactly. So I go and, 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 and approach the woman. And I'm like, hey, how you doing? She's like, oh, why are you talking to me? I'm like, what the fuck? I'm like, yo. I totally did not get that right at all. Okay, and so yo, maybe that, she wasn't giving you a flirty me. eye. Maybe she was trying to figure out why the fuck you was looking at her. That's different. <laughs> Them two different facial expressions. No, but it, she didn't get, when we were with our eyes locked, it wasn't like, it wasn't like, that type of facially, I would have recognized a facial expression that was like, who the fuck is just Well, you there? ain't recognized that she wasn't flirting with you either, mm. so. Mm. Yo, I'm terrible <laughs> in recognizing women are flirting with me, yo. There's I'm a difference terrible. there. I, there's a I, like. I used to know the signs. There's a like, I what the to, fuck is he uh, looking at look? And then mm. there's a like, you already know what's up. Come over yo, here. This, that shit has happened more than one time for me. I've, I've, I can't even think of, okay, maybe one, maybe one or two times I can recall where a woman, where I approached a woman and she was like, all right, that's exactly what I wanted you to do. Uh, you know, there was there's very, very, very few of those times. That's sad. It is, isn't it? It is. Ah, that's it? sad. It is. It is. 
<laughs> it is. <laughs> that means you got bad judgment and you just don't need to say shit. <laughs> Yo. Yo, I tell you what. Because uh, obviously you do too much. No, I don't do I don't do too much. <laughs> I don't do too much. I just be like, hey, how you doing? And they be like, oh, who the fuck is you? I'm like, damn. <laughs> Stranger danger. <laughs> exactly. I just and I'm and I'm not the nigga that has like all the crazy lines and shit like that. You know, I don't have the whole like <laughs> you know, I don't have like the like pickup lines and shit like that. I just they was like, finna call the cops on you. you know, I just try to be like a, I just try to be a gentleman. Like, hey, how you doing? My name is Corey. You know what I'm saying? I don't try to have no like crazy pickup lines. Like, <laughs> you know, <laughs> See, I can't even think of a pickup line off the top of my head right now. Over there, hello, how you doing? He said they be like yelling. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I've had like the, I've had motherfuckers like, oh, who the fuck is you? Like, like they went, they pulled back on me and shit. I was, I was like, I was kind of tired. I'm like, yo, if I was a different nigga, you might get punched in the face off of that reaction, you know? <laughs> yo. oh, I used to miss that that with Spanish chicks. Oh my god. Oh man, I hate talking to Spanish chicks. That's like, 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 I, don't I, do that. Look. I used to think I was getting a look, and then mm-hmm. I go over there, and they be like, they used to, that's the, what you call it, like, you speak English, but <laughs> you gonna go look Spanish for me right exactly. now? Exactly. Like, like this, get? Yeah. Get? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's why I don't like talking to Spanish women. I used, I try to talk Spanish women. They always want to talk Spanish to me. I'm like, did I just speak to your ass in English? Obviously, I don't speak Spanish, motherfucker. I'm Spanish in my blood, but I don't speak that shit. I need to learn. I need to learn Spanish, by the way. That's so sad. Yo, it's like, <laughs> it's like running up on a Jamaican chick. Uh huh. Like, Jamaican chick, like, oh, what's up? You go to shoot your shot, and then. She throw the bulletproof vest on with what I said. As soon uh-huh. as she say what I said, what you know what I'm saying? That means get the fuck out my face. Oh man, yeah. Mm-hmm. Move around. That's what that means. Just to stick to the lakes and the valleys that you're used to, man. That's you know? funny as fuck. Yo. Girls was reacting to you like you was like a yo. You was about to snatch them up. Yo, yo, <laughs> motherfuckers treated yo. Yeah, motherfucker. Yeah, I'll tell you what. Right, maybe that's why. I, maybe that. Maybe that's that contributed to my singleness over the years. You know, it's like motherfuckers just. But yo, they motherfuck- felt like they was in danger to react yeah, like that. Well, like, I tell you what, so <laughs> yeah, and I tell you what, women that I actually have actually did end up meeting and like speaking to, they was like, you know what. I thought you was an asshole when I first That's met you. That's funny as fuck. I was like, oh, so you was willing to meet an asshole. Okay. You know? <laughs> but now, a lot of, some women have told me they thought I was an asshole just because of the way I fucking look. And I'm like, but how the fuck do I look? Damn. I think it's my, I think it's my chinky eyes. Makes me look sneaky. So I've been told. Somebody told you you got some beady eyes. Yeah, they said you got chicky eyes. You look mad sneaky, yo. (laughs) (laughs) That's when I realized motherfuckers judged me off my appearance. This is like my first year in college, right? I got to college. I had I had two roommates that we we shared a room. I got the room first. I got there first. I had the room first, you know. But I guess the whoever was there, they brought him in. They said, hey, this is Kari. He's going to be your roommate. Y'all could just leave your bags there and shit like that, right? They said, after they got cool with me, they said, yo, we was mad scared to leave our bags with you in the room, yo. <laughs> nah, they was black. Niggas was from Brooklyn and Queens. <laughs> yeah, niggas from Brooklyn to Queens. And I was like, yo, wait. They were like, yo, man, you had the chinky eyes, yo. You look like you might just, you look mad, mad sneaky, yo. I'm like, damn. I was just sitting on my fucking bed chilling. My mom just left, nigga. <laughs> niggas were like, yo, we were scared to leave our bags in the room with you, yo. I was like, damn, that's yeah, fucked up. Yeah. That, that's, that's when I first really realized that motherfuckers judge you off the way you look. You know, and I was like, I, I guess so. You know, if I see a black nigga in my room with chinky eyes, I might think he gonna steal my shit too. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Don't ask me why. 
Don't ask me why. So a dude, some dudes told you because of your cheeky eyes, they ain't trust you. That's sad. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah. But that made me realize that people prejudge people based off of their appearance. I mean, you know? and, and there's been times where I've judged people off their appearance as well, you know? It's like, you oh. saying people don't trust Chinese people? That, Sometimes. That's why I'm laughing. Cause like, <laughs> what, I ain't how does that it. go? I ain't the say head? it. Like, I ain't say it. The nigga said, because of your eyes, you look like. <laughs> yo, that's what they told me, yo. That's you look like me. you kin to Jake. Uh, what's his name? Who? Jet Li. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I do have Chinese in my blood, though, by the way. Uh, uh-huh. So they said your eyes was beady and chinky. <laughs> yeah, That's yeah. so fucked up. Yeah, I know. I know. Imagine I how Asian I felt it being me. You know? <laughs> That's terrible. <laughs> oh, that is hilarious, yo. I know. So it's man. like, yeah, you go to the Chinese restaurant, you be looking at them like... I got chased by the Chinese... Let me tell you something. They will beat your ass if you steal steal from them. I got chased by them one time. I got through pencils at them. I threw the can at them. That's terrible. They gotta catch you first. Yeah, they did have to catch you. I was out. I was out. I realized I ran fast that day. Every time I I see a video of Chinese people or Asian people, not Chinese, Asian people. Mm -hmm. When I see a video of Asian people, um, like in stores, they own the stores or whatever. Mm -hmm. People be trying to steal from them. Oh, they, they and they up. whoop them people ass. They will hold Ow. on to you. They will punch on you. They will whoop your ass. You are not about to steal from them. Mm-hmm. They be quick. <laughs> oh, never ask me for twenty dollars. They don't play for that. They don't play with that. Yeah, at all. They gonna whoop. They don't care who you are. They finna whoop your ass. <laughs> like you ever seen one on the gram? The one down south. He be like, "What you gonna do? Your bitch ass ain't gonna do nothing." <laughs> I never seen that. Like oh, He's like, yo, yo, bitch ass ain't gonna do nothing. But it's so funny because to see an Asian person with a Southern accent, uh huh, yo, you be like, where you from, Georgia? <laughs> yeah, I was watching this video the other day of these white dudes that was able to speak Chinese. They was going into restaurants and nail spots and haircut spots, getting their shit done. And then just talking Chinese out of nowhere. They also learned Spanish. They learned a couple of languages. Um, she was crazy. I forgot my point, but it was something with that <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> about Chinese niggas. But y'all learning different. Talking about them? what's that? What they was talking about the beat with the nail shot. Like... Yeah, at the nail shot. They was like, "Yo, I think these guys are crazy with a video camera and shit like that." Then the nigga started speaking Chinese, and they was like, "Oh shit, you speak better Chinese than my daughter." You know, but they were saying all of this in Chinese. They had like subtitles and shit like that. So, all right. So, did we did we decide when should you stop shooting your shot? When you're ignored the first time. When you're ignored the first time. So, yeah. once yeah. you're ig- I'm gonna okay. go that too. What's the that? The very first time. I'm gonna go with that too. Ain't no reason to keep running the same track. Yeah. You know yeah. What I'm, not no, I, I'm not. I'm not a very big DM jumper. You know. But if I jump in someone's DM and there's no reply, I don't jump in it again. I don't jump in it again. Now, there are some dudes that'll jump in the DM, don't get a reply after 30 seconds, and then remove the message. <laughs> <laughs> like it never happened? Uh-huh. You'd be like, damn, I saw the message. Like, give me time to, like, type. You just deleted the shit. <laughs> oh, damn. So <laughs> that means he was, he was like... He was nervous. Nah, nah. He was nervous with the. He shot. wasn't ready for that rejection. Mm. Nah, he was like, he's like, she don't want to suck on my balls. <laughs> <laughs> I've never. I don't think I've ever unsent a message because I was like, up. Oh, she took too long to look at it. I don't think I've ever done that. And I haven't jumped in a lot of DMs. I probably jumped in maybe maybe three or four DMs over like the past ten years. You know. Or maybe I just don't know how to jump in the DMs. Guys will be like, hey, how you doing? They don't reply. Oh, well. <laughs> I probably should do a little more than that, huh? I should probably have like a whole 
jump in DM routine. Yo, did you know what else it is too? What's it's that? all about if you're a computer talker. If you're a what? Like, okay. You have some dudes, right? That mm-hmm. they get online and they're awesome talking to a female. Mm. Then but when they're in person, they freeze up. They they can't they can't think as fast in person as they can online when they have time to stop and think. Yeah. Okay. I think I'm the opposite. I'm a computer typer. Like, I'm a boring-ass texter. I forget to text back. I text mm. short, and people think that it's because, like, I'm mad or some shit, and it's not. I just hate texting. But, like, in person, you got my undivided attention. Like, mm. we on the phone, I'm paying attention to you, I can have a good, decent conversation, but I suck at texting. So I, that be running people off sometimes. I think I'm a little bit of both. I think I'm a little bit of both. <clears throat> but I have to like sure. the person. I have to like the person. I can't... I mean, nobody talks to people they don't like. Uh, you've never been a Jehovah Witness. <laughs> Dating-wise. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh man I need to get Av on a fucking line one day <laughs> <laughs> oh man oh man Av is like I, I kind of learned how to talk to people because of Av yo. you know that's funny as hell yo very good very good person to person communicator yeah Yes, definitely. You know, <laughs> that's because, and I believe that's because he was Jehovah Witness knocking on people's doors trying to get them to see the light. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> what? Those are some of the best salesmen in the world. You see, and that's why they can do a sales job anytime. Yeah, yeah. He's trying to sell <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> yeah. That's yo, terrible. I remember yeah, I remember I was on a bus one day with my homeboy, right? We was on a bus one day. And I was so amazed, yo. I was so amazed. I was like, yo. I was like, yo, how did every stop you find something to talk about with somebody? <laughs> <laughs> it's like the bus make a stop conversation with this person next stop up oh, you can leave it new conversation with new person i'm like yo how the hell did you do that some people are good like that yeah and i think it was because he used to just knock on doors like <laughs> for real dead ass though i i bet you he would tell you that too I bet you he would tell you because he used to knock, because he was a Jehovah Witness knocking on people's doors. It's oh, what helped man. him be a very good man. communicator. You know, so, uh, like, I'm thinking about it. Mm-hmm. I'm thinking about it, yo. And all the good communicators in the hood having to knock on doors, yo. Yeah. All with the big mm mm-hmm. Mhm. That's terrible. Yeah. Yo. Ryan, Ryan Reagan and Keith Reagan wasn't bad at communicating either. Yep. James and Abram, they wasn't knocking on doors, but they, they was uh, selling shit. They a whole different, they was a whole different religion. Yeah, they was. Which is wild, by the way. Which is wild. I'll, I'll talk to you about that later. Oh, yeah, I... I... I got a story for you about that because I already know what you're talking about. I'm talking about some other shit too. You know? I think, mm. I think, I think, I think, I think. A little brother? Believe nah, that. Nah, 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 not, not that, not that. I actually spoke about that earlier uh, last year. Oh, but you know what? But you know what? I did have a question. I did have a question. The jail time. Yeah. As much as I love Bobby Smurda, I love what he stands for. I love what he did. Did jail stretch Bobby Smurda's career? What stretch it? Yeah, stretch it. Why stretch? Why would you say that it stretches it? Because 
the style that he. The, the reason why I said to stretch it was because, okay, I'm gonna read off. So you know, XXL the magazine did a freshman list every year, right? Of like who's the dope freshman this year in hip hop. Well, 2015 was Bobby Smurda's freshman year, and the people on the list that year was a uh, Fat Trell. Lil Herb, which now is G Herbo, um, Bishop Nauru, K Camp, Bodega Bam, Q Pitch, Key Pitch, Shy Glizzy. Oh, wait, no. Actually, that was Key, Ooh. not Key Pitch. Key. Shy. Shy Glizzy. You know, the only people from this list that I'm really familiar with at this point is K Camp. And G Herbo. Mm -hmm. I mean, what what were you saying the list for? To show you the people that came out and that was popular around the time that he came that out. Still relevant right that now. That's still like, relevant still today. I mean, right? but he went to prison. Right, and that's what I'm saying. Did so that stretch out his you career? Really put out in prison, but right. I think that I don't think that it stretched it. I think that he sat out for six years and now he's out and everybody's excited. So now he's right. Are being they talked excited? about right now. I don't think it stretched it, though. Are no. they excited about the music that he put out? Or are they excited about this is a solid nigga that, that stood up? So we're going we're gonna to listen. We're going to wait and see what he has to put out. You I think know? it's both. And I think some, some people that celebrate don't even know shit. Bobby Schmurter. They right. just celebrating because everybody else celebrating. You're right. Right. I, I think my opinion with that is the Bobby Schmurter situation. I think by him being so solid, I believe a lot of people are going to support him, like you say, and want to see what he's about. But at the same time, with Rainbow Bright running around and his bullshit, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Is what I think for the culture, this is what the culture needs right now to put some type of standard. Mm -hmm. to the coach. You understand what I'm saying? Because the coach is stayed away from a lot of things. You know what I mean? Like, it's still, it's still a hip-hop culture, but there's no originality in the culture. You understand what I'm saying? Very little, in my opinion. In my opinion. Bobby Schmurter is probably one of those last few original, what you call it? He has his own wave of things. So, that's the only thing that may keep him actually relevant right now mm -hmm. because different always sells. Mm -hmm. Also the fact, different always sells. That's why some of these rappers that come come right now, they, they're microwave. You understand what I'm saying? It's like a bag of popcorn. You put it in a microwave, it pops quick, but then it's over. Right. You know what I mean? And I've I think he has a possibility, but prison has a lot to do with his height and him coming home mm -hmm. right now with him. Yeah. his career. So if he never would have got locked up. He wouldn't have he wouldn't have went five times platinum. I tell you that. That's true, because he went platinum after he got out. That's why I'm saying some yeah. people just celebrating just cause they remember his ass his song went viral too and became a meme. Right. So it's like some people are listening to like that don't know shit about why he was in jail. They just happy like let's go stream the song. Right. He's the opposite of six yeah. nine is what some people are saying. They don't know shit about him. They just remember the meme and the song and shit. Mm, and they and like the video, let's go celebrate. Seeing everybody giving them love and they're like yeah. oh, let me give them love like everybody else. Don't, That's like the TikTok culture Bobby. right now. I fucks with Bobby, but like so if he didn't went if he didn't go to jail. This is, a, I guess this is a big hypothetical question. If he didn't go to jail, would we still be listening and praising Bobby Smurder today? Mm, I don't think, Do you think there's his... any way to know that because mm, he right. came out and like... like... Maybe that's just a bad hypothetical question. Huh? His mainstream music was just kind of like yeah, on and then he went to jail is what we saw. Yeah. Like, just as fast was, as we got put on, he went away, so we don't know. And the music played a part in that, too. What you said, B? Mm -hmm. Yeah, what were you, you saying? You can't say what, what 
what could have been, you know what I'm saying? Because you don't know. That's one thing, like, we as humans, we can't predict, like, you know, what will be. You know what I'm saying? You can only try to guide yourself to being that. But, you know what I'm saying? You got to always think of the the obstacles beyond your grasp. Mm-hmm. That's true. You understand what I'm saying? Like, music career and all that, he was doing well. But who knew that the police was coming for him? You understand what I'm saying? That's true. Yeah. It, it, shit like that. Right. Pop smoke. He was gonna be. He was gonna be phenomenon. You understand what I'm saying? From what they say, but we don't know if that was gonna be. If this was just yeah. the hype, and then he got. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. God rest think... his soul. He got taken out early, but you don't know what he was they're gonna be. That's true. Right. I feel like one of those babies. I mean, babies. You already know who I'm about to talk about. I feel like one of those artists <laughs> for me is the baby. Like when he came out, shit was lit. Mm. It was like, who is this? Like I'm lit listening to one song, and then like it's just like for me at least, because I'm tired of hearing the same shit. And honestly, I don't listen to it anymore. Okay. So for me, I think it was like t- hella hype. And now the quality is just like going down and down and down. But that's pretty much what these rappers are. They just get one hit and it's popular, but they can't like continue to duplicate it without Mm -hmm. doing the same shit over and over and over and over. Right. The formula. They're going through a formula. The baby was popping when he came out. No growth. There's no artist growth. None. Maybe that's what it is. Maybe they're not learning anything. They're not learning anything as an artist. Maybe everybody is just like, maybe he could do a little bit of music or whatever. And he had one song that just took off, but he's not really passionate. I don't want to say they're not passionate. Maybe some people have more passion than others. So, you know, those artists like... Erica Badu or Janae Aiko, those type of artists versus like a like a pop singer, you know? Mm-hmm. I think they were learning things on their journey as an artist. And maybe these people are just entertainers, so they just looking for the next hit type shit. Got you. Got you. A sense. lot of artists today, a lot of artists, everybody's making songs, but a lot of people ain't making music. That's the That's problem. True. Mm. So there's mm. no death. There's nothing for them to learn, yeah, well, yeah. pretty much. At 11-11, too. Good. Yeah, it is 11-11. But yeah, like, there's nothing for them to learn right now because they just trying to top the chop- charts or go viral versus, like, a few years ago, people actually did music because they were passionate about it. Music was about some shit that you figured out or you learned or, mm. like, an experience you went through and you know you can actually see artists grow now they just it's just the next they just copycat yeah you see now you see artists go downhill really just like okay he came out he was popping and years later they fall off or doing drugs they're just some crazy shit like there's no growth to watch mm-hmm they're just entertainers. Maybe that's the difference between they're they're entertainers and they're some artists. I think a lot there. of them they fall off because they don't have nobody else to show them what to do. You know, it's like a lot of a lot of them get popping because they was following what somebody else was doing. That's now when true. they have now when they have to do their own thing, they, they don't, don't know, know. What, they don't know what to do. That's true. That's why we appreciate artists like J. Cole and Kendrick because mm-hmm. they, they are artists. Like, this is something that they're passionate about. They put so much thought and effort into their work versus some shit like, let me get a beat and just some random ass shit to say on the beat so people will twerk their ass. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Shake their ass. Do me do, do what yeah. I do. Shake their ass. All these dumb ass mm-hmm. challenges. Shit like that, too. <laughs> <laughs> now everybody's trying to come up with a dance with this. Yeah, everybody want to dance. Everybody Somebody hit me up like, challenge. "Hey, I got this song. Can you create a TikTok?" And I'm like, wow. 
I respect the people that make a song and it's about the dance. If you don't make a dance and you make a song about it and it's about the dance, respectable. Right. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know, a lot of people that make songs and then all of a sudden this dumbass dance comes out with it and you like, what the fuck? Yeah. But you know what? Most times it's not their fault. Sometimes it's just people that get on like TikTok and do a dance and somebody else liked it. So they tried to do it and then somebody else liked it. Now it's a challenge. Right. Which kind of boosts their song. So I think that's how it's happening right now. But it's still crazy. Like, I think the funny thing is with most of these challenges that are really like promoting songs and stuff like that, I don't really know the songs. I like no, like I know the seven second, the the whatever amount of time it is for the challenge to take to take place. I know that much of the song. Yeah, that's that too. Well, depending you know, like, on the song, like bust it. All I know is the bust it, bust it, bust it, and then it stops. <laughs> that's all I know of the song. I think maybe that's, that's because you didn't care to go listen either. Like that Possibly. didn't interest you, but that's that's I think that's what a lot of people do though. They 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 see the challenges, they hear the song of the challenge, but they don't really say, "Oh, let me hear the whole song." Yeah, they just want to do it too. Yeah, like me? the um, silhouette that's challenge. Sure. Say it again. The yeah, like, I, I don't know what he's saying. The 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 that that no shit. It all it sounds to me is like he's like that's my shit. On the, uh, Bitch, I got no shit. sense. <laughs> That's my yeah, shit. That's you what know? it sounds like to me. That's just moving yeah. music. They just made that for you to like vibe to it. Like, I don't think people actually think that they could be rappers nowadays. I think they just think that they can make good songs, like you said, good music. So, These niggas don't really want to be rappers. They yeah. can just rhyme a little bit. I, I started, think. okay, I'm guilty. I'm guilty. I started watching some of the Takashi doc on uh, Hulu. What? Why did right. you stream that? He not getting no sales off of me. Right. No stream. And one of the dudes that from from Takashi's past, he was like, "Yo, Takashi came to me. He was like, "Yo, my music is trash, <laughs> but my videos are hot." <laughs> but when you know this, you can build off of this. Mm-hmm. If you know, like, my music is ass, yeah, but people say, yeah, fuck with my trash. videos. I just got to keep maintaining, really. Oh, Cheryl, uh, Cheryl over here in the chat says, yo, I was just watching the news and Gaga's dogs have been returned. Ain't that something? Uh, are, they get, are they getting a half a million dollar reward? I'm pretty sure, but they about to get uh, the third degree, too. Mm-hmm. Huh? Did you Will steal you these, these dogs? dogs no, I found them. I found them. <laughs> yeah, tied up. <laughs> Somebody said, yo, these are God God's dogs. Drop me 250 in the fucking cash app. <laughs> I don't know who it was, officer. I'm just here to collect what is owed to me. Oh, man, shit. <laughs> I would have stole some dogs for 250,000. I've seen these dogs running down the block. Mm. And That's I said, crazy. oh, I had to get these dogs. Mm. That's crazy. Cheryl said, B, she went on your page. What she say? She went on your page and she wanted to know if you still sell your juice. Ah, ah, Cheryl wants to know that, bitch. Yeah, on, um... And they didn't say anything about the money. On the Punch World page. But yeah, I still sell my juice. Okay. All right, cool, 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 cool. Yeah, any of y'all fuck with uh, Mac Miller? I did. I love Mac Miller. Y'all fucks with Mac Miller. Yeah. Most Fridays, I play The Weekend by Mac Miller. Doom, doom. I, I, I do all music the same. Well, his first album, his album Swimming, actually is Mac Miller's first platinum album, which is which is kind of okay. dope, you know? Okay. Uh, <coughs> his album went platinum and shit like that, but he has a platinum plaque. Uh, Pos, Pos Motors. How, how, do you, how do you say that word? How do I say that? Posthumous, posthumous, posthumous. After We're he not died, sure. after he died, let's do to Porky Pig style. Pos, 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 after he died, that's what we do. 
<laughs> that's that's my my scapegoat. Oh, I just no. I just jumped to Porky the Pig style. You know? So y'all yeah. fuck with Mac Miller. I fuck with Mac Miller. His tiny desk was dope. I liked his music. I played the weekend, uh most Fridays, either in the morning or the evening. It's like fuck it, it's the weekend, it's here. We about to have some fun, even though I most weekend I just chill in the house and relax, you know. But that's fun to some people, right? It is to me sometimes. But I thought it was dope that that was his first uh, platinum album. It was sad that just after he died, but he made some dope music. Yeah, he did. He did make a couple of stories. You know, and uh, as we wrap up uh, music and, and pretty much the show with music, did you hear about the West Coast Supergroup? Who? There's a West what, Coast. NWA? No, there's a new supergroup. What the hell is a super group? A super group would be a group of artists that come together that were that were previously like oh, their own dope ass solo artists and their own dope ass solo career. They would mm. come together and to form a super group. So if like Beyonce was to form a group with Jay Z and Erica Badu. Yes, that would be a super group. Uh-huh. You know? So now there's a West Coast super group. Which consists of Too Short, mm-hmm. E forty, Ice Cube, and Snoop Dogg. Oh shit! They're gonna uh, they 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 actually came together to create an album, and not only are they a group that created an album, they have a feature on one of those songs by Dr. Dre, which uh, he's talking some shit on there. I've heard. But, about um, his wife, right? Yeah, I think so. About his uh, wife, about his brain aneurysm and shit like that. So this would be. Uh, I'm looking. I haven't really looked forward to an album in a while, and I'm actually interested to see what this album sounds like. Too short. E40, Ice Cube, and Snoop Dogg on multiple songs together. I'm curious to how is this gonna sound. All I gotta say is, remember the last time Ice Cube made a super group. That's all I'm going to say. Every time, yeah. West Side Connection, you, you, they didn't do numbers? No, no. I liked I fucked with West Side Connection. I fucked with some of their music. A lot of their music, actually. You know? I, I thought Dub C, his flow was a little wild to me sometimes, you know? But he had to dance to go with his flow, so I was like, fuck it. And he'd be like, bang, 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 so yeah, I'm definitely hey, I'm looking forward to that. Now, <laughs> I'm definitely looking forward to that. And um I don't think we spoke about this last last episode, but uh there's a new biggie dot coming out called I Got a Story to Tell. Have you seen any any uh I saw, trailers about I saw the billboard for that? I saw a billboard for that. So a billboard, not even a trailer, a billboard. A billboard? I haven't yeah. seen anything. You ever say anything about it? No. Dude, it's a Biggie Doc. I'm actually curious. This 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 Biggie Doc looks 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 a little interesting to me. You know, because um it doesn't seem like it's just about Biggie and Pac beef. You know, it kinda of seems like it's more about Biggie's come up. You know? And I think that's why they chose the name I got a story to tell, because it kinda of seems more like his come up and not just a oh he was with Bad Boy, and here goes his beef with Pac and shit like that, and then he died. That's kind of seems how, like, a lot of his shit was. A lot of his documentaries or biopics or everything was like that for, for Biggie, but this one, oh, looks, okay. this one looks like it had a lot of actual um, rare footage that we might not have all seen, some behind-the-scenes shit, some, some shit they have their own little camcorders and shit like that, so it looks interesting. It looks interesting. And I think it comes out this month too, which by the way, I think this month is is uh is Biggie's birth month? No. This the month that Biggie died. Not not the because he was born on when, when was Biggie born? 
Um, he's he's a I think he's a Gemini, so like that. So is he the, so the May? I June. think it was May. Wait. Yeah, like late May, early June. No, May is like Taurus. No, saying. beginning of May is Taurus. May twenty first, nineteen seventy two. That's when he was born. But we all know because of fucking cannabis. We all know when Biggie died, you know. Yeah. We all, I don't know when Tupac. I don't. I don't remember the day Tupac died, like the date. But I know the date Biggie died, you know, all because of mm-hmm. cannabis. And as much as we talk shit about cannabis, that was cannabis that made that rhyme, that line, right? The greatest that's rapper right. of all time died on March 9th. That was a shit, right? Yeah. And that's why we all know when the fuck Biggie died because of that fucking line, you know. But his birthday is May 21st. His birthday is May 21st. What's that? Nah, I said, because of him, I know what beef is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was one of the lies, too. <laughs> uh, but I think that's everything I got for tonight, yo. Okay. I'm looking forward to uh, Biggie's. I got a story to tell. I'm going to watch that shit. Uh, what else do I got? So I, I think I got caught up in all my episodes on TV and shit. I think I got caught up on uh, on uh, what's the name of the shit? Snowfall. I'm caught up. You know, this the season just started. I'm done with the uh, For Life. That season just ended. Um, yeah. What else, what else can I start watching? Anything? Oh, you know what I wanted to start watching? I want to start watching Euphoria. I haven't seen that yet. I need to check that out. I need to check out Euphoria. And I also need to finish Mr. Robot. I'm on like season two or three of Mr. Robot. I haven't seen that shit in like five years. But I'm, I'm almost done with it. <laughs> okay. I'm going to get caught up on some of those shits. I'm basically oh. just getting... And I got to get caught up on All American, but I don't want to watch it on CW because their commercials are fucking crazy. There's like five commercials every fucking commercial break. I'm like, fuck this shit. And then Netflix? Nah, they got seasons one and two on Netflix, but season three just started. So, eh, who knows? I might wait for it to come on Netflix. I ain't that much of a diehard fan. I could wait, you know? Listen, I know it's Wakanda forever, but yeah, next Friday we going back to Zamunda. <laughs> <laughs> Coming to America next Friday, right? Yes. 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 What were the two shows you were supposed to watch and talk about? Were there two shows you were supposed to watch and talk about? Did we mention uh, two shows <laughs> last week? Did we? I know. I know. This week we watched um, Judas, Judas and the Black Messiah. That was I one that we watched. That. Matt last week. <laughs> I almost oh, said Milk Marie. Malcolm and Marie. <laughs> Malcolm and Marie. Malcolm and Marie. Did you check Malcolm and Marie? No, I did not. Oh, which actually I'm, made I'm, me, which actually made me be like, you know what? I just realized. How often is it that father and son both have? Movies out at the same time. That's dope. Malcolm. That's Malcolm and Marie. John mm-hmm. David Washington. The Little Things. Denzel Washington. Both on streaming services. At the same time, not the same streaming network. You know, like Little Things is on HBO Max. Malcolm and Marie was on Netflix, but they came around around the same time. I found that it might be. First time for black for a black father and son, but it's not the first time for a father and son to have stuff. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Martin Sheen, uh, Charlie yeah. Sheen, Emilio Estevez, which is you know what's I crazy? Think one time. Estevez is actually their real last name. Yes, you know Martin Sheen. That's not his real last name. Charlie Sheen. That's not his real last name. They might. Yeah, they, they Spanish. Yeah. They Spanish, Estevez. Emilio's the only one that would keep it 100. Shout out to Emilio Estevez for keeping it 100 while his family was faking it for the fucking film. <laughs> Emilio Estevez, the only motherfucking Estevez that said, I'm going to be 100, nigga. 
even though he probably had like the worst career out of all three of them. I liked his movies though. He was in The Breakfast Club. He was in um what else he was in? I don't know. I can't. He was in the he was movie in the Wisdom. Outsiders. He was in the Wisdom. He was in the Outsiders. I don't know about that. I don't know. Yo, I don't remember the Outsiders. He started all of those dudes' career. Patrick Swayze, Matt Dillon, uh, C. C. Thomas Howell, uh, Charlie Sheen was in it. Uh, Rob Lowe, mm-hmm. uh, Ralph Macchio, fucking um, <laughs> Pony Boy. <laughs> uh, you showing your age? You showing our age? All right, it's it's fucking eleven <laughs> thirty. <laughs> we've been having Henny Coladas and Henny and Blunts and all types of shit. Tati looks bored that we're getting old and shit now, right now. She's like, Boy, you, you looking at what, what memes you looking at right now? I'm not looking at no memes. What you looking at? You looking at memes. I actually just sent out the link to check out this podcast. Actually, I had to find the link. Okay, so she didn't. She didn't like <laughs> what we was talking about with the outsider. So she was like, Let me but send this I couldn't out. relate. I didn't know who those people were that y'all were talking about. So yeah, you you know who they are. You just don't know who they are. Probably not. They are. Yeah, they're 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 the fathers on the shows you probably watch now. I know Charlie Sheen. <laughs> I know the, I know who that person is. But uh, yeah, when they oh man, I'm you getting know, some what? wings. I'm hungry. <laughs> All right, let's get ready to get up out of here. (laughs) Get some wings, something something like that, you know? (laughs) All right, y'all. I think that's everything. Uh, Yes, we will be back on Tuesday. I think think that's everything we got for the evening. Biggie, I got a story to tell coming out in May. Um, What else did we touch this evening? Um, um, A whole bunch of shit, but y'all, may your weekend be great. Do your best to stay sucker free. And keep a smile on your face, baby. We out. Peace. The moon <laughs> That was fun. See y'all yes. on Tuesday.
Sorry, Scrab. 